Like, niggas had all kind of weapons. Like, niggas would make... Like, niggas would take the tripod from the camera and make a weapon. Niggas would shave the edge of it to a point. Niggas was... Re like, Ruck used to walk around with hedge clippers. Hedge clippers? Ruck. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't even want to think about what he's doing with him, bro. I'm about to tell you what he's doing You know what hedge with clippers him. are? Well, like clippers. No, no. Shit, son. The shit's that. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to tell you what you're doing. You want to bush with the I'm shit? About to tell like, you what call you him out. Where was he holding him? <laughs> it's a, it's a when you pants. close him, when you close him, you know they like slim. Like in the pit leg. They slim. Stuff. You put him in your. You know what I'm saying? Remember, this is the baggy jeans era. Right. Oh, yeah. right. You got you know everything. Yeah. Big coat. Yeah. 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 Everything. That's crazy. Look, Rock will run up on somebody, bust them shits out, open them to your neck. Give me all your... Yo, that's scary. I mean, that's scary to That's blood. scary as hell. I be like, yo, what, what the, the fuck? Yo, what, what? You about that's, to clip my whole head off? That's OD. Yo, hey, you giving everything that's up. That's OD. Like, that's more Clippers on your neck? Like, Door off, take the hinges with the door panel in the wall off. Body's getting hauled off, lips getting torn off. Leg him with the sword off. He looking like a walking dead zombie trying to crawl off. All right, we back. Episode 30. Episode 30. 30, 30, niggas. Yeah. A word, a, a word y'all know the number today. <laughs> <laughs> we know the number today. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be watching. Yo, as usual, um, shout out to the subscribers. Shout out to, to matter of fact, shout out Patreon game. Y'all been holding us down. Um, you go to Patreon, www.patreon.com slash mathhopper if you want to support the show. We're trying to hit a goal where we can do this constantly. So y'all don't have to wait on episodes. We just keep flushing them out. You know what I mean? Um, Call them cuts. That, all them cuts, 2310, Second <laughs> Avenue. You walk in here, you mention any of the guests or any of the hosts on the show. It's $5. For everybody. <laughs> $5. You're equal all around the board. Of course, I got the king in the building. Yes, Misfit. We're going to have game. we in the building. Yo, oh, oh, son. Oh, I, before I get to everybody else, son, what, what was you trying to do last episode? <laughs> what you what was you it was in a bag. Do, son? What do you speak of? Yo, you was trying to get Verb to say that he was gay or something. No. Like, why you kept coming out with the... First of all... Spice. One in ten. But, <laughs> Yo, there was one part where you was like, y'all niggas don't think y'all gay? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, was, what the fuck was that? That was great. No, all I, my only point was, it's just way too many males in the battle game for not one to be gay. Don't I, like, I just feel like you was targeting that. somebody in the room, though. No, I mean, shout out to Verb. But, right. you know, Verb, <laughs> I, do, I do, you know, I do feel like Verb, you know, you know, he's, he's a little... I don't know, Verb got more kids than me, man. <laughs> He, he, he got more kids than me. I, I'm not he, gonna. He's real value. pretty, you know. There's two things he's I don't pretty. put on people without concrete evidence. Yeah, yeah. And that's being that. Right. Because you but know, I say if, he if you're a straight gay. man, you don't you don't necessarily. Yeah, want to be I say that. he was gay, but I know there's one. And if you are out there, reach out to me. I'm here for you. All right. <laughs> So, Cause I know it's really hard for males to, you know. Look, I know I'm making them feel uncomfortable right it's now. It's 2020. Just be yourself. 2020. Be yourself. Be yourself. Um, okay. But besides that, uh -huh. um, promotion, right? If y'all yes. want to promote, um, you know, your brand, your music, videos, please uh, let us know. Reach out to meopromo at gmail dot com. Um, it's definitely a great platform for you to display your talent. And, um, you know, Math himself checks out all the, the music. So, you know, that, yeah, that, that's... Yeah, if your shit whack, bro, I don't care about your money. I don't <laughs> care how much money you're throwing at it. It's not going up. It's right. not going up. You know, yeah. we, 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 we represent Check quality. Me. We got guests in the building. Salute, 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 salute. We got my man. And they rock. And they rock. And they rock. And they rock. You heard? Yeah. Come on, you heard man. one of the pioneers of this whole battle Thanks. culture Thanks. that Thanks. I feel like don't get the credit he deserves. 
but today he will. Yes. Welcome love, my, my man, Poison Pen. Yes. Yeah, appreciate Shout you. Shout out to Poison. What's good? What's good? How y'all feeling, man? As always, knowledge born. What's yeah, the yeah. science? You already know what I mean. And we got another fucking legend in the fucking building. Big Ham, let's go. Bro! <laughs> See my B double, my uh. B double, bring that trouble. Uh. Bust a nigga bubble, uh. my nigga Rhino. Hey. Oh, we larger than the dino. So ah. plus we roll, louder than your nine blow. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah! My yeah. man. Free Rhino, free Doc Holiday, free uh, Rhino. One half of Hel Helter Skelter, rest in peace, Sean Price. Mm -hmm. We got Rockness Monster in the building. Salute. Let's go, let's Salute. go. Salute. Like what it look like? What it look like? <laughs> Brooklyn. It looks Finally like it's the Brooklyn hit. episode. Brooklyn, yeah, man, we're Brooklyn. We're in a night. You might, you might want to take the night off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You strong Island. Take, I mean, you take the night off. Well, look, look, look. The Brooklyn Nets, the Brooklyn Nets used to be the Long Island Nets, right? And yeah. it was the Jersey Nets. They was, I mean, but they, they was, was, they was, was Long, Long Island first, first yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. When it was the it's ABA. It's still Long Island Nets right now for the uh, G, G League, so I, they be practicing in the with gym us. by my crib. Okay. So he running with us. He running with us. He running with us. You heard? Cool. That's what's up. We're hanging out. I know. You're the same piece of land. We good, bro. Feel me? With the Brooklyn Queen Long Island, what's the same? Can we start with the '90s? Show, show. Can we start with you want? The era where hip hop became a monster. Where Decept era. Decept era. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I, I think we can get some information about that tonight. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm free spirit. I can speak about all that. See, see, my my older cousins was Decepts. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I kind of like missed that, yeah. that era. All I all I knew was like if I had any problems, call my older cousins. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Crown Heights Decepts? It. Nah, Flatbush. Flatbush comes. Flatbush and Sumnerville. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. But the 90s, where hip hop kind of like, not to say it wasn't happening in the 80s, but it wasn't happening as frequent. 90s hip hop is regard, regarded as the golden era of hip hop. Mm -hmm. This is the era where so many different styles were born. So many different rappers were going platinum. A lot of black mm -hmm. millionaires came out of the 90s. A lot of black millionaires. Of course, there's a, a lot more now. But mm -hmm. it started with the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what the 90s was like for you, brother. Well, the 90s was, it was dope. Like, it was. Like, I mean, like, I was a young, I was still, like, in 92, mm -hmm. like, I was still doing dirt. What right. kind of dumb shit? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was still busting. Dirt like what? Dirt like what? Don't indict yourself. I'm saying, I'm just, but, just statute yeah. of limitations is all good. I was, right. I was still busting niggas over the head for small change back then. Right. You know mm. what I'm saying? But, These um, are things. Right, absolutely. Right. But, um, <laughs> like, a lot of people were, like, like boot camp, most of us, we grew up with each other right. on some level. But I didn't know Buckshot until 93. Shout out to Buckshot. Shout out, salute to my brother Buckshot. I was 15 years old, I rode up on Buckshot. I was like, yo. Who the nicest in Crown Heights, Buckshot? He was like, yo, I don't know. Shorty is mad rappers out here. I was like, me, nigga. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if you remember that. It was on the corner of Union and Franklin. Utica. All right. I saw Buckshot that happen. With the team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, like I didn't when Buckshot put out Who Got the Props, I didn't know him yet. Mm. Still knew him. Like that was that had been Steel's man for years and all of that. You know what I mean? But um That's back when Steel had the crib on Montgomery, I think. Yeah, but still I mean still knew Bucks and still still lived in Cephalo. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like me and Steel are both from the same projects. I mean, right. he lived across the street from me. Oh Parton, shout out to um Smith and Weston, 10 year anniversary. No, 25. 25, 25. Oh, shit. anniversary. Yeah. 20, mm, 25. How did that? How did that? Maybe they last maybe one of the yeah, 25 year anniversary of the shining. Mm -hmm. That's the, you know what I'm saying? That was that was that shit right, right there. Wow. But um, that was that was like like I was I I came out here from Arizona for that. Wow. Cause that shit was like my first album too. Like yeah. you understand, know I was all over that shit. Like I learned how to do an album from that album, yeah. which is what I was getting at. Like I didn't know Buck during Into the Stage. Like I was I got locked up in '92. The end of '92 came home April '93, mm -hmm. and Into the Stage, Black Moon's first album was already done. Right. I sat in the car with Still, and he played that whole album for me, and I was like. 
she was amazing. Yeah. I heard Black Smith and Wesson and You the Man, which was the two songs that Smith and Wesson were on. Yeah. These is my niggas. And I knew that I wasn't never going to jail again. I wasn't going <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm not missing that, another that, right. nothing because of that. Right? Yeah. So that was, you know, that was where that took me. But um, you know, we got it was just so dope. Like I, I met Buck days later, like literally days after that, and we was already moving. Yeah. Like the movement was already moving. Like yeah. you know, we like a couple of months late. Well, by the end of that year, I was already doing shows with niggas. You know, I'm, I'm like all over New York. Right. But by the beginning of the next, not 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 just all over New York, just like all over the East Coast. Like you know, like Baltimore. Furthest I went to went to was like Virginia, shit like that. Right. But in that time period, you met Wu Tang, you met Big Pun, you met Mob Deep, you met you met all of these. The dopest niggas out, like you right. know what I'm saying. Like all of the every reason you had for keeping your pen sharp was in your That's face. That's a fact. You That's understand what I'm saying? Then you go down to the the how can I be down? There was this convention called how can I be yeah, down? Yeah, I remember that. It was a bunch of conventions, yeah. but my favorite one was how can I be down? Jack the rapper was dope. The Gavin was dope. Yeah. But how can I be down was my shit. It was in Miami. I went down there and it was like in this four four hotels, like this one, one right across the street. Went right to the right of you, went right to the left of you. Every artist that you could think, think of, of was in there. Was in one of those hotels. I'm guessing this was on Collins. Collins Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. I was at the Shellbourne, right? There was yeah. that, that. I remember, whoa, 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 the other half of us drove down there, right? And they came and got us from the airport. We met up. So we riding down Collins Avenue. The first day we get down there, see this nigga Method Man riding on one of these little motor scooters and shit. Running around. Yeah. We're like, yeah, what up, nigga? This nigga nah, stops, <laughs> jumps off the bike, stage dives off the bike into the van. <laughs> on everybody. Oh, <laughs> shit, oh. In this moment, I'm in hip hop heaven. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you, I mean, you know, I know you understand this because I know how, 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 how me and you respond to each other. Right. When you see a nigga, an artist that you got love for, for his work, you understand? You really fuck with this nigga and what he do. Yeah. And you meet this nigga and he really fuck with you and what you do too. It, it's amazing. It's a guy. It's amazing. It's a Shout out to Meth, man. Shout, Shout out to Big Bro, that's, man. that's my twin. Right? right? Like, so it was It was one of those. It was, right. and like, like, shit was just, the vibe was just crazy. And But you had to know how to rap. Like, yeah. you really, like, to this day, it's hard for me to be cool with a nigga who don't know how to rap. Right. <laughs> like, a, a rapper who I think trash, he come up to me showing me all kind of love. Who is that? Who do you think is trash? I think a lot of niggas is trash. I'm, I'm just saying. I wouldn't. I mean, I'm saying they, 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 they nice. They, they nice guys. They, they nice people. I, would, right. I, I don't want to hurt. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt what they doing mm -hmm. and shit. You know what I'm saying? They ain't do. They ain't do nothing to me. Like I'm saying, they show me. All, I tried. They show me all the love and... <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> well, let me, let me tell you who I think is trash. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. I like that shit. Calm down. Calm down. Stop, 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 stop. Let's go. If you don't rhyme when you rap, I think you're trash. Mm. Nah. No, no, no. I'm it. just saying. I'm not, I'm not going to give you... I'm, 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 but then you say when it's real, You think I rhyme. think about these niggas? To like, like these niggas aren't in the front of my brain. I'm just, right. it's a certain criteria that I, owe. like if you don't rap to the beat, like like when the beat is on and you rap, if you don't rap to the beat, you trash to me. Like you they got a, you got a, so like a metro for who, Christmas. Who was that? Um, All right, in, the, in this era. At least a couple, like maybe. In that era, who, who, who did you feel like, nah, I could definitely smoke them? I mean, I felt like I could smoke everybody to today. Yeah. Like, till today, like, I'm still getting better. I'm, I rap way better right now than I did on Nocturnal. Mm. Like, it get on my nerves when people be like, yo, Nocturnal is the best thing you did. I mean, I, I get it. It was dope. It was like, a, you know, it all was conceptually put together. together yeah. But bar work? Son, it's I can smoke now. anybody I want to smoke, son. Like, real talk. That's dope. Like, I will. That's dope. Right, but who's know trash? What I'm but who's trash? <laughs> I can't. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm, I'm, I, w I wouldn't do that. Like, I might hurt their bread. Like, I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, is that a, just hurt like, their movement? Period. Like, people listen to me. Some some people. 
Like, oh, Rock said he trash, he trash. I ain't fucking with this. <laughs> but is it, is it a kill or be killed thing? Because I felt like in the 90s, it was a kill or be killed thing. Yeah, it definitely was. Like, like Snoop he, came through, crushed the buildings. Listen, let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? When Tupac hit him up. Man, let me tell you how serious it was. The formula for a Helter Skelter record, our Helter Skelter formula was simple. Don't be the corny one on the song. Mm. Right. That's it. No more, no less. And it's only two of us. Right. And you know the nigga on the other side of the table is a killer. Right. So you have to go. That's a fact. You gotta go. That's a fact. You can't be like, well, I'm gonna take it light and it. No, you're gonna look, you're gonna be the corny one on the song. That's against the rules, period. That's it. Right. So that's the climate that the 90s created. Like, mm-hmm. and you know, I, I as long as we on the top, you know, while we're talking about it, like a lot of dudes, like, like in today's climate, you know. Mm-hmm. People big up the 90s like nobody was trash back then. Niggas was trash in the 90s too. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like there were trash See, niggas. See, now you bringing this back. Yeah, don't like, be like that. Don't be like that. Who was trash? Who was trash? Who you think trash? You, you got his? The what? It's the who. <laughs> Yo, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like, um, I liked a couple records, but I never understood Camp Low. Camp Low. But does that mean they were trash? For me? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is it, man. I, I hope nobody don't come out, come out of nowhere on me. But this hey, Saturday night was a hard album. Hey, I'm just saying, I didn't understand where they was going with it. I mean, look, there's a lot of people like, like I said, it's a certain criteria because I'm a technician with this shit, right? Right. So that's why I say the things like those two things. It's it's really two. Two or three things, like, when you rap, do you rhyme? Like, Sadat is my brother. Before a minute, I didn't like Sadat because he was on a wave where he didn't have to rhyme, rhyme when he rapped. Now, Prodigy was the same. Prodigy, right. You understand what I'm saying? Say that. During those periods of time, I wasn't really fucking with them. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But, I mean, Sadat definitely know he my nigga. And he found his way back to the rhymes right. or whatever. Right. I guess Prodigy he, is a legend for and, Prod- and, and he did, too. Right. He found his way back to the rhyme. Like I even KRS One for a second. I remember KRS One. He went through a period. It was a long time ago where he was saying he was he was preaching something about the number three in music. Now for me, the number four is God in music. Right. You understand? what I'm saying everything is four bars, four this. You know, sixteen bars, four bops of the head equals one bar. Like the number four is God. Right. And there was some short period of time where KRS One was on some. The number three is. That number. that number, and he was doing something different, different. that I could not fuck with. You right. understand what I'm saying? He found his way back. You right. understand what I'm saying? And that's that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like mm. breaking it down like that. What do you see like in hip hop now? What are they using? You saying the four bar, the three? I mean, what they don't. They, doing they don't. I, I don't. I'm not sure they understand that concept. Like okay. like some of us. Like like I remember when when me and Ruck first became a group. Like Ruck didn't know how to count his bars, but instinctually. His shit was always on. Okay. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like he didn't know that it was 16, but he knew it was. Excuse he me. He stop. knew it was on beat. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So, with these dudes, like I'm not sure who. Like, like all right. Here's an example with the locks, right? The general public opinion is everybody's favorite is Jadakiss, mm-hmm. then it's Styles, right. and then it's Sheik. Yeah. When the locks first came out. Sheik was my favorite Sheik. one. I ain't gonna right? lie. Be- he was my favorite too. And it, it was for two reasons. Ain't one no of the whole click about it, about it. Yeah. Take yours while you pop One of the it. reasons was because Sheik, I mean, because Jada and Styles sounded alike to yeah. me. Yeah. And one of them sounded like Jay Z to me. So mm-hmm. I didn't know who, but that kind of took points from them f- right. on, on my scale for right. a minute, right. right? But Sheik. You know, he was—he sounded like himself. Nobody sounded like him. Right. Mm. But the reason why people didn't gravitate to Sheik as much is simple, in my opinion. I'm, I, and I, I, I think I know this. Like, I'm I think I know this. I'm mm. listening. Like the order I just now listed is the order is like like Jada Kiss. He never breaks the number four rule. Style break. Styles breaks it once in a while. Mm-hmm. Sheik breaks it more often. Mm. When you break that number four law, it causes the listener's head to stop bopping for a second. Hold on a second. Because you just tapped into something that I feel like 
applies to battle rap. That's also. 100. I was thinking yeah. that too. Four bar setups. Four bar setups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And number four is God and music. It really is. You know what I'm saying? But like when you, you can't do- tell Danny Myers that. <laughs> 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 but you, everybody else, oh God. I believe in the four bar setup. Right. When you when you do something, when you go in three bars, and then you switch, you switch the rhyme. Mm-hmm. You cause a nigga's head to stop bobbing because now they're looking for the new rhythm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know what I mean? They looking for the neck like it's it's that simple. You understand no, I like what I'm saying? Science. I like that Teacher. science. I'm gonna clap for that. I like that science. So with that being said, it's like, like, like Sheik, he was like, you know, for a while it was something like someone was like, fuck the number four. Like he's like, yeah, or, he, he or, just or, doing or, his own or thing. maybe he didn't understand it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who teaches us how to rap? Who taught us that in the fucking 70s and 80s? Nobody. You taught yourself. You right. know what I'm saying? That's just what it was. You copy, run DMC or whoever your favorite, that's what you did. And you and you ran with it from there. I, I so where'd you learn the four first. from? Hmm? Where'd you learn the four? Oh. I didn't. Oh, okay. I just I like I said I copied Kane, Rakim, G Rap, and KRS One. Mm-hmm. I um I learned like I cop. That's how I I learned you know my technique, all of my my flows and you know all of the the the, the, the roller coaster flow shit I be doing. Yeah. That come from them four niggas. Mm. You know what I mean? But my. Demeanor came from NWA because I was a, I was a pissed off kid. I was an angry little nigga. I was my mom's last kid, the youngest. You know, the youngest kid don't get no respect in the crib. So by the time, <laughs> so by the time I would go outside, I was pissed off already. Right. I didn't know I could rap that way because the role models I had was Kane and Rakim. You know, they was yeah, saying they, they dope was, shit, yeah, but it was creative. It wasn't that. Yeah, anger. it wasn't. Uh, G Rap had a little bit of it, yeah. but not. You know, it didn't overwhelm his shit. Right. When N.W.A. came out, I was like, oh, we can be in. This is it. Yeah. What you understand what I'm saying? So those were the original ingredients of my shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. But like, but yeah, like that four. That four. That four. And that and that was that was what kind of like concreted your spot in the 90s. I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like that it was that was a whole storm of things. You know, it was the way we came through. It was like, you know, Buckshot. You know, Black Moon came with Who Got the Props first. But if you notice, Who Got the Props sound way different from the rest of his album. Yeah, that's that's true. That was the influence of the boot camp. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? We began changing each other. You know what I mean? Like, we, I became the rap more melodious, you know, more melodic. Mm-hmm. You know, all of us began to develop more melodies and shit. With, you know what I mean? I guess that's from Buck, Buckshot. Well, it became, well, because Buckshot is a Crown Heights nigga, right? right. Mad reggae niggas around Shout out to there. Crown Heights. You already know, know I mean? what it is, nigga. Crown you know Heights I mean? is built. Mad reggae niggas right. over there. Facts. Like Tech and Steel, they bonded with Buck first. Top Dog is Steel's brother, biological brother. Wow. So all of the reggae and boot camp came from them. You know what I'm saying? Dope. Them. Buckshot, Tech Steel, and Top Dog. Right. And, you know, it just kind of migrated through the rest of us. You know what I mean? That's dope. So, yeah. That was that was, yeah. We started to rub off on each other and shit, and yeah, that was our, that's our shit. Nineties, nineties was pen. dope. Poison pen. Oh, can I add something about the nineties? Yeah. Poison pen. <laughs> <laughs> I met poison pen. Like I didn't know Sun had bars. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing about. Like you know, Sun used to work at the label. At Priority Records, yeah, when Duck Down was signed. What? <laughs> I never knew that. I didn't know that was a secret, but I'm saying, yeah. like, it was good yeah, too. Like, like my man, Mr. Haram, by the way. <laughs> I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him yeah. to just revamp and run with your 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 natural name, like your the name you was given yeah. at birth. Sounds like an ultimate rapper name. No right? doubt. No doubt. Hmm. But I'm mad. I mean, I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you lead the story because you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, right. well, that's where I remember I, him. I was I, right. I, my memories for, of Penn start there yeah. at Priority on 18th Street. Like this nigga was just there, just doing I was everything. A, I was like, a doja, nigga. He was there doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fucking high school what? kid, nigga. We was out. I, lo- I love this shit, bro. Yeah. Like real shit, man. Like, like I knew E winner. You know what I'm saying? And I think I got over there through. Through the age, through James, through Azor. 
You know. The Azores. I, I, I linked up with them through the Azores. Mm -hmm. And then, when I, when I, then I met y'all niggas over there, and it was just like, y'all niggas opened my mind to everything. I was, I was riding with y'all from Jump anyway. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm from Nostrum, my nigga. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, I used to see, I used to see five on the block all the time before right. I even knew y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. I knew five. Just right. on some, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So when I, but I was in all y'all niggas. Y'all niggas was dead nice, bro. Like I was in all y'all. Keep it, keep it talk with you, man. Like, like the fact that we family now and all that. That's like we started long time ago. Nah, but the, my the nigga, shit like, is from all of that shit you was doing back then. You call it Doja shit, right? I don't because like I'm clowning, but you know, know. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like, like, like as a you know, like as a as an independent artist. Yeah. I learned everything from the ground up. Right. So, right. That's what you said. So, so I ain't never looked like, like from nobody. Like, like, you know, like, real talk. Like, yeah. all the, you know how to do mad shit. I don't know how to do. How did you, you know get involved in that? How did you? How did? How did? How did you get that? Shit, man. I used to go to B Street and buy CDs and tapes and read the fucking back of the shit. Right. You feel me? But yeah. you said and you I used was to call a... like. I mean, on top of just being like. No, when you say you was a dozer, like you was. Oh playing. no, I was. I was a I was, was a kid. I was, I, was, I, was, I was still a student. I was still in school. You feel me? So how did you like get into that? Like, I, I was reading the back of the tapes and CDs. I knew oh, where the labels was at. Oh, mm -hmm. gotcha. Like, gotcha. real shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, I knew I, I knew niggas. Like, I knew niggas. You be like, P.H. been my big brother. P rest in peace, P.H. P.H. been my big brother P. H. already. Like, I knew P.H. since... I met him in my school. He was cutting out in my school. He was in the lunchroom. Talking, talking to talking shit. I'm like, this nigga don't go here. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and that nigga go here. And that nigga was told that already been had graduated and shit. Cause he, he 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 older by a little, you know what I'm saying, about something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, this nigga gonna go to my school for, and then and then we linked up. Like, so I'm like, yo, you don't go here, nigga. Like, what's up, nigga? Yeah. We, just, we clicked up from there, you feel me? So I already had niggas I knew we didn't know they was gonna branch in the, you know, whatever it is today and shit. It was yeah. just Brooklyn shit, my nigga. Like, on top of just being a kid watching. I ain't had cable, you know what I'm saying? Watching fucking Ralph and all that, mm -hmm. buying all the tapes. I, I, I used to buy so many CDs, they used to give me the fucking DJ discount. Right. Shout out to that. Tracy at B Street, you feel me? So I used to mm -hmm. I love buy tapes, mix tape CDs and shit, open up the fucking, open up the tape, smell the tape, that shit smell awesome and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yo, I would read the back, I would read every magazine front to back, I would read every fucking insert front to back. I knew who produced everything, I knew who mastered everything. I, I would, yeah, I would call up labels for the sake of calling labels up. Like, I ain't know what the fuck to do if nigga answered the phone. Oh, but, uh, you was just calling. And, I, and niggas was like, yo, come up here, man. I got some work for you, my nigga. How old are you? I was like, yo, 15. Yo, come up here. I'm like, bet. Mm. Niggas started handing me flyers and CDs. Bet. I'm in the mix. What's up, nigga? Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Link up with these niggas. We, the, nigga, the tunnel for y'all album release party, nigga? <laughs> I'm gonna check. If I can tell Wait, you, if I can tell you, if I can tell you, Wait, what sure they really offer me just for a fucking boot camp click CD and to get in the motherfucking tunnel, my nigga. You might as well just tell us. Yeah, Bruh. just let it go. You might as well just I mean, tell you know, us. You, you know the unit, well, if, if y'all know, you know what I'm saying, the tunnels had the, universe, the, the, the unisex bathroom. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes they did. The tunnel was infamous for the unisex bathrooms of stage. You know, yes, like, it was. So, <laughs> So, so we used to, I was too young to get in the tunnel. So I, and I was tight. I, I was to be outside. I was, like, like, so I, I was too at the time, but you know. They, you got they it. Got you right. We was dead. Yeah, See, you got it. See, I should have known. <laughs> <This is back laughs> we just used to be outside, like pumped up, just watching everybody <laughs> on the so Let's just say niggas was getting taken care of for CDs and shit. It was wild, bro. Wow. I'll leave it at that, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a change man. The nineties, the nineties. <laughs> let, 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 let's let's <laughs> let's go even deeper than that because if you listen to like the boot camp lyrics, um, what Ruck was talking about, Sean Price, what um Steel was talking about, what Tech was talking about, what Buckshot was talking about, it was a different type of era. Mm -hmm. Um, this is before Bloods and Crips hit New York City. Mm -hmm. Before then, it was the Deed Steps. Mm -hmm. Um. You had some sort of association with these guys. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, what, what was that like? Cause I, you know, I I, I got the OG stories from my from my cousins mm -hmm. on riding the train. Yeah, it, the it was it was ignorance at its finest. Like, <laughs> it really was. Like like I can't like I'm only proud because of the love. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the right. love 
the relationships I made, like I got some life, like you know, tech and steel, rough. It was all decepts. You understand right. what I'm saying? But, but for the record, because there's there's some twenty something year olds watching this. All right, Decepticons. And they don't know. Decepticons was a gang in New York City. Right. And it started in '85. '85, I was about thirteen. I wasn't down yet. Right. Right. But, um, but it was the most horrible shit to hit the streets. Like, like, it was like terrorizing shit. Terrible. Like niggas was terrible. Son. Like terrible. Like we was. I mean, it started in Brooklyn. Before it was hammers. Right. It, it was, was actual hammers. hammers. It was actual hammers. Shout out to my nigga Briz. And 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 what what was your, I heard y'all where well, y'all was cracking jokes on Briz. Yeah, nah. Shout out to Briz. Yeah, but, 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 right. We're bringing it back. Like, like, but when well, y'all was saying it, I'm home watching this shit. I'm like, that bitch. The hammers was the hammers. It wasn't even only hammers. It was like like niggas had all kind of weapons. Like niggas would make like niggas would take the tripod from the camera and make a weapon. Niggas would shave the edge of it to a point. Niggas was re- like Ruck used to walk around with hedge clippers. Hedge clippers. Ruck. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I don't even want to think about what he's doing with him, bro. I'm about to tell you what he's doing. You know what hedge clippers are? Well, like clippers. No, shit son. Is. The shit's that. I'm about to tell you what he's doing. I'm about to tell you what he's doing. They be on the bush with the shit. I'm about to tell you what he's doing. Where was he holding it? <laughs> it's a bad When you close pants. them, when you close them, you know, they <laughs> like slim. Like in the pit leg. They slim. Stuff. You put them in your, you know what I'm saying? Remember, this is the baggy jeans era. Right. Oh, yeah. right. You got you know everything. Yeah, big coat. Yeah. 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 Everything. That's crazy. Look, Ruck will run up on somebody, bust them shits out, open them to your neck. Give me all your... Yo, that's scary. I mean, that's scary to That's blood. scary as hell. I be like, yo, what, what the, the fuck? Yo, what, what You about to clip my whole head off? That's OD. Yo, hey, you giving everything up. That's OD. Like, Clip was on your neck? Like, can, like, can you get back before he closes? Right? Like, nah, I'm not even making a move. I'm like, yo, go ahead. Yo, go ahead. Don't Take kill. everything. Yeah. Hair. I'm not... Mo- Take it. Take it. Yeah. Just take it. Just take it. You understand what I'm saying? That was, that was the level of debauchery, <laughs> <laughs> savagery. Mind you, that was just the nigga that was close to me. Mm. Right. No, not, not look. I, I got not some. Cat. I got some stories. You understand too. what I'm saying? That was the nigga closest to too, me. Son. It's niggas that was further away from me on the line. Like, yeah. like it was a nigga who, like, if you tried to fight him, you better really be real. Like, don't be a nigga who just fighting because your big brother told you you better fight him. Mm. You throw your shit up, nigga will grab your hands and bite your knuckles. Mm. Like, what you gonna do with that? What savage? What the hell? A lion? A lion? Put the camera on the man over there. Am I lying? Nah, facts. Oh, uh, another, another ex-member over here. <laughs> another ex-member. Oh, right. I, hope I, hope I, hope I hope I'm not blowing nobody up. You ain't got no government job or nothing. No, you good. You good. You good. Right, good. 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 I'm saying, but like it was that. It was that level. That's so that, deep. It was that level of that's savagery. Mm. Like that's what Decepts was. You know was it saying? just terrorizing or was it robbing? Like no, it was robbing too. It was it was, you know what it wasn't? It was everything. You know what it wasn't? It wasn't about no real money. Okay. You know no. how like you got like <laughs> it's about reputation. Yeah, it was just it was all about Where? wreck and rep. Catch a rep. In Brooklyn. Right. I'm about to say that catch a rep. Brooklyn rep and rep. Brooklyn was It wasn't all about, about no money. Reputation. It wasn't about no nothing. Like any dudes in DCEP to this day, or from back then, like if they was really about their money, they was different niggas. Like like if to to this day, the, them niggas don't like you like you see you referred to my man as an ex DCEP, right? Mm-hmm. Cause he about real life. And shit. Right. Them niggas is retarded till this day. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But but at the same time, you think about the time frame that we're talking about. We're talking about coming out of the crack era. I'm telling you, some of these niggas is retarded till this day. Like them niggas still think it's the nineties and and behave as such. Like But but you think about what was going on at that time. Like, um, I can recall late eighties, early nineties living on Quincy Street between Marcy and Nostrand. Um, 
crack vials mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. As soon Fact. as you step out your apartment. Colors all over. I used to collect them. Me and my little, yeah. little homeboys used to collect them. Yeah, like, oh, I got all the colors. Oh, yeah. oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Frank. they're empty vows. <laughs> we're collecting them because SOD. they're just everywhere. Yeah. But, but you recognize, like, what was going on in certain places. Like, when I was young, I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. right. But I knew, like, if I went over on this block, i find the black tops. Mm -hmm. If I went over on this block, Find the yellow, different yes. competition. I find the red tops over here. I find the, uh, that. So it was crazy. like, gotta catch them all. It was like Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's, you know what I mean? Which is kind of crazy. 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 But for a kid that that was a hobby. No, for real. Like, we're, we're, we're talking about an era where a guy went crazy in the building across from mine and shot everybody in the hallway with a shotgun for no reason. Mm. He just lost his shit, came out in the hallway like, fuck it, people gotta die. And this was not something that made the news because there was so many other things yeah. making the news. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, when you think about the, the 80s and 90s in New York City, you got to think about what's Chicago like at its worst? Mm -hmm. What's New Orleans like at its worst? Now think of a, this stretched out, spread apart. Mm -hmm. Think about these buildings Everybody on top of stacked each other, up. stacked up, crack houses. I don't think I've ever seen a six-story crack house any place other than New York City. Correct, mm. correct. That's different. Correct. I'm talking about a building that, that costs a lot of money to make, messed up, nothing but crackheads in there, and at night, the windows is lit it's up. It's like the Carter and Nino Brown type fires. shit. It's yeah. like, yeah, it, it's different, but this was shit that was Fact. normal. Yeah. Shit, my, my first Christmas on my old block on Notion, man. First Christmas. I'm like 12. Fucking the, the, the building right next to mine was a crack house. Yeah. Nigga, whole shit burnt up. I'm, I wake up Christmas. After I open up all my gifts, Christmas night, we evacuate, fire dancing outside the building and shit. Uh, some smoke will fucking set that whole shit on fire. Wow. Ugly. You feel me? That's, that's just how I was, my nigga, now. Now white niggas paying three thousand dollars a month to live there. That shit crazy. Who know about you, you, you Brooklyn, Brooklyn niggas? Y'all know about Noble Drew Ali Plaza? Noble Drew Ali. I know about Noble Drew Ali. I don't know about the Plaza. All right, the Plaza. It's, they just call them plazas in Brownsville, right? They down. Hold on, you talking about the plazas of East New York? Nah, they down by um. They close to the Linden Boulevard and Hegeman and shit. Okay. Um. Yeah. By I the know, BRC I know, I know and those. all that. I know those. Right. Them shits was the worst. Like, it's niggas in those projects who believe, literally, they believe, in real life, they believe that the Carter, like New Jack City, stole that idea from their building. Mm, probably. Wow. They probably did. I, I Googled it, and they say not, but whatever. But mm -hmm. they got to, like, if you been there in that era, you'd be like, I see why they think that. Mm -hmm. Like, it was that bad. And, Yo, my, and my grandmother lived there. Like, that was where I had to go to see my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> the car. There was fiends everywhere, the wild dudes selling drugs. To the to car. The car. That's crazy. Like, That's car. It was crazy. I remember I went there, because my older cousin used to live there. I went there with him. I was 15 years old. Mind you, I'm big for my age. Like, I was, I was probably this height when I was 16, 17, mm. right? But I walk in the project, I walk in the building one night with my cousin. And these niggas have like two lines of crack. This is the first time I ever saw some shit like that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, crackheads make f two organized form lines. You understand what I'm saying? You want your shit. Like, the, 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 a, a nigga giving out instructions. Hold on, y'all doing too much. Y'all gonna have to make two lines, la la la. And they hustle their asses up and do that shit. Right. Meanwhile, me and my cousin walking in the building and it's winter time. I come in this bitch cold. A gun come out. Nigga like, yo, take your hands out your pockets. My cousin stopped. He like, yo, it's my little cousin. I, my cousin short. I'm t that's my little cousin. He's 15. Uh, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know the nigga look like he's 90. <laughs> but he's <laughs> getting lucky. <laughs> right. Uh, Leave him alone. The nigga, the nigga's like, 
all right, we hear you, man. You know what I'm saying? Just tell him to take his hands out of his pockets. You know, shit crazy around here. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's a fact. Like, it is what... what <laughs> Mike Tyson just, was robbing niggas at that time. Nigga, I was 15. <laughs> 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 <The> f- <laughs> and it was winter. Where the fuck else was my hands supposed to be? I just came, in, just came out from the fucking cold and shit. Like, but you know, when, when, winter's the grimy season in New York. Hoodie season, man. Well, not really. No? No. For me, so it was a grimy season. I mean, yeah, it is, but it's grimy. Oh, this is New York we talking about. Look, like, look. like, niggas don't know how to act when they get hot. What happens in the when winter hot, but, but, is you get the stash bigger guys. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? But we was with triple fat goosing. We was moving at an uh, uh, AK that the older heads gave us from building to building and big coats like this. But in the summertime, the that's when everybody's outside. So tension right. happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the heat and all Niggas that. Niggas is upset, and, aggravated. Yeah, yeah, your girl got on short shorts. Yeah. Somebody holler at her, and now y'all got beef from yeah. gunshots. Yeah. Juve. Oh, Juve. Oh, man. Juve. Juve. Juve in the 90s. Bruh. I've never been to Juve in my life. You serious? Never. What? Never. I know because I'm smarter day. than you niggas. That's yeah. why. Yeah. 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 Fuck is you talking about what? So to this I day. heard about it. The first, when I first heard about Juve, yeah. Along with hearing about it, I heard about what happened last year. Right. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm For talking sure. about 20 years ago. When I, whenever it was, I first heard about it, niggas was talking about what happened the last year. I was like, oh, I don't need to do that. But I'm going to the parade weird. the day after. That's Both super will just be greedy. Though, man, she used to happen at the parade, too. That's sad. But state, let me, let me, let me, let me, give, you little, let me give you a little side. Let me give you a little science <clears throat> about drama. Okay. Right? The reason somebody dies at Juve every year is because on that night, everybody in Crown, every block in Crown Heights is having their own block party, mm-hmm. right? So if I live in Crown Heights, right, and they having we having a block party on my block, why go to your block? My block is Liddy, mm-hmm. right? So with that in mind, if I don't like you. Where you gonna be that night? Right. On your block. Right, right. I know where to find you. Right. Somebody's getting stabbed this night. And this is this every like yeah, this shit true. be yeah. so crazy. Like every multiple year. stabbings, two, three shootings, every ju- I'm like, nah, I'm just I'm gonna fuck with the parade in the daytime. Yo, and cause not but only key, somebody dies every year. The right, but, but but all of that shit I just now mentioned about my block and your block, all of this takes place now at nighttime. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Much you easier. got the cover of night, you got the cover of nighttime. Week. And the crowd. And niggas got powder on their face and all this shit. Right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go see you this night, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I look, for, for those that don't know, like in, in Juve is a it's a West Indian kind of kind of like the pre-parade. Pre-parade to to the Labor Day parade. Mm-hmm. And but it goes we throw on powder. Night. We throw you different colors of, 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 of powder all night. Don't dress fresh to Juve. Don't dress fresh. Do not do that. Wear yeah. some We're bum being bum ass. Out of cover you wear, the, wear some bum ass shit Because Juve. people are going to be throwing powder. And, Paint. Well, powder, I feel, powder, like, I feel powder, like the powder. throwing of the powder kind of starts the drama too. Like, but that's just yeah. that's how you do it. I don't know you. You're so powder on me, man. You went to Juve, my nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? You went to Juve, nigga. Yeah, I know, but I don't go to Juve. I never been to Juve so much. I went to Juve and I stayed clean. I never been to Juve so much. I didn't even know. Like, I thought you put the powder on yourself. I didn't even know. No, this motherfucker's going around with the powder. He's throwing it on people. I thought niggas come out their crib with the powder. But on top of that. And chicks, chicks be half naked and, it's a and they thing, twerking man. on everybody. Whining and all that. Whining. I like it's it. It's a good wine. So Brooklyn, Brooklyn, a good wine. Brooklyn got the uh, crazy reputation, you know what I'm saying, for robbing and all of that. Brooklyn yeah. keep on taking it, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, all right. of that. Is that the era that started that? No, is this an old uh, it's tradition? No, nah. it's, 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 it's a hundred year tradition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Brooklyn, Brooklyn been taking it. Yeah, picture it. Before, uh, before the picture it, Sicily, you know? sister, 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 sister <laughs> mom, nigga, like he said, picture you know what I'm saying? Listen, Thanks. people, people got to understand, Brooklyn is bigger than every other borough. Kings County, it's Queens, New York, not Queens. No, Queens is not bigger than. I know population. Now Long Island is big. Think about it. You could drive an hour to get to another side of Brooklyn. Right. Nigga, I don't have $50 cab ride. Yo, I don't want to fucking Kings. 
Kings Plaza, my nigga, for my block. She was 50 cash one day, my nigga. Kings Plaza. That shit offended my soul, bro. Kings Plaza. Yeah, that was another man. spot. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, out to everything you should go. Marine Park. Marine Park. Every, every time I hear that Raekwon on verse, sticking the white boys in poor courts, <laughs> I think of Marine Park. <laughs> 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 every time I think of Marine Park. That's, That's where it was going down at, son. Yeah. They had nice houses over there. It was a nice park. And everybody from the hood just used to go down there. So, <laughs> growing up in Brooklyn then. So a little bit it, of info. Hey, Timmy, the house is a little cheaper over, over there right now. So if you're trying to get some property, Marine Park is a little cheaper than everywhere else. Oh, yeah. word? Oh, shit. Yeah. So for all y'all growing up in Brooklyn, was I, it? I guess because that's it's useful away from information shit. right there. Was, was there a little level of fear? Like at least growing up? What, growing up? Yeah. Like, Hell like yeah. I had to live with that fear all the time. You got to be on your square, mother. Yo, son. There was a <laughs> where if you was going someplace in Brooklyn, you rode the bus, sometimes you would get to your stop and look outside and be like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get off the next step. Because the <laughs> <laughs> well, there would be 50 dudes so outside. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just waiting. I dare you to get off this bus and nobody knows you. Nope. <laughs> dare you. <laughs> Right. Dang. Right. They'll be looking at you on That's the bus. Messed like, up, man. Who that? Who that? Right. I did want you to just get him. Yo, one time I was talking to my little homie. I mean, he a grown ass man, but you know, he's my he, he my little bro. Mm-hmm. We just talking about real life shit, and I was just telling him how a lot of the dirt that we did as his bigger brothers and shit, like. We was terrified while we was doing it. We just had to. It was we. It needed to get done. Mm. And he was like, "Word." I'm like, "Yeah." He's like. Son, I was never scared. And I'm like, why? He was like, because I always had y'all. Mm. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? He was like, he felt invincible because he had he knew we was coming with the shits. But he had faith in the team. I didn't have that. It wasn't, we was the first generation Racial. of the team. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So we was out there doing this shit. If this shit don't go right, we just got a whole list L. Mm. <laughs> what, what, what was we either got a whole list L or we gotta figure some shit out. You what understand the, what I'm saying? What was the initiation for um D Well, it was different initiations. Yeah. Right. I didn't have to go through initiation at all. Right. You did. Lord you did. I need you to get close to a mic because they're not gonna hear you. They're not gonna hear you. Like, like, come, come, come. Talk, talking to poison pen joint or something like. Yeah, yeah break it down. Yeah. Pause. 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 What was the initiation like? I had to I had to come back to home. It had to be a Harlem dude to point that out, right? Yeah, this is funny because I think. Hold on, hold on. Introduce introduce yourself because they might not know. Everybody know me as Lord Vital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm second generation. You you might not recognize him without the muscles. Yeah, (laughs) right. (laughs) Yo, fat. That's how I first met him outside. Why he beat a brother? Because me and Rock probably got down in a second. I got down with 90. You got down what? In 90. You got down in 90? Yeah. I got wow. down around 92. But I'm considered a first generation and he's considered a yeah, second. Because of the late, because of who he came under, Pauls. Mm-hmm. Right. Because you came under under Ruck. Me, I came under somebody else from the style. So mm-hmm. I had got an issue. I had to walk through the line. They wow. Two, <laughs> two straight lines. They from the side. Yeah, everybody wow. in there, you had to walk through that line. If you fell, you had to get back up right. and go back to the end of the line. So what was going on in the line? Hit snuff. You had to be hitting with bats, chains, yeah, all that bro, stuff. Up, and yeah, then after that, down, when I brought my twin along, I had a twin also. Right. My twin is somebody that that that, that you roll with. That's your your that's twin your is your right hand true. Right. Mm-hmm. When he got brought, we had to hit the cipher. Cipher, everybody form a circle. Mm-hmm. And if they say walls is live, that means that you fighting, you backing up. Anybody that's on that wall can now attack. Right. When you get too close, you was forced to stand there and, and hold your ground. And just hold your ground. Damn. It was, it was nothing fair. Because you'd be fighting. So like if I'm like, all right, I'm going to fight him and him. You might have triplets. So if you fight, the other two have to come in. You might have four brothers. So if you fight, them four they brothers. They got to come in. Yeah. So, so you, you don't know, know what, what, what you, you getting into. It's all bad. Facts. It's all bad. How brutal was your first time going through that? Ooh. It wasn't really that brutal because most of the dudes, they already knew. So I was already... Doing dirt before I got down. So they took it light. Yeah, pretty much. They were scared. Yeah, but, but every year we, we did, know you, nigga. But every we know you year we did rebirth. We had to get retested every, every year. year. Every what year. What the fuck That's was y'all crazy. doing over there? Rebirth. Yeah. 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 Rebirth. This nigga is nigga. Yo, this nigga is nigga. Rebirth. Wrong with you, nigga. Rebirth. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
I got brung into DSEP because I was already that nigga. It right. wasn't no question. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't it? Right. Like the niggas who brung me in, I, was I grew up with them niggas. You. They like, right. we like, need like, you. Like, like I grew up with them niggas. They didn't need to test me. They knew me. And then, you know what I'm saying? It was like, no, 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 no. You, you. What? Well, first it was still. You know what I'm saying? First it was still. First, first it was still. And I, yeah. I kind of was like, still is DSEP. I love this nigga. This is my dog right here. I'm DSEP too. Mm. Who gonna tell me I'm not? I, I didn't say that out loud. Yeah. I wasn't able to say that out loud. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. that was how I felt. By yeah. the time, like, like by the time me and Ruck started fucking with each other, I was able to say that because I was a, you know, I was I had graduated Put in your right. on, yeah. on a few. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was that. But the other way of testing niggas, we would just we would just take a little nigga on a mission with us and make him do all the work. Right. All of it. Right. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. See how you hold up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of niggas got tested that way. You know what I mean? But on our side, niggas got tested the regular way too. Yeah. But no rebirth. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> them niggas <laughs> was <laughs> doing they over there. It was the annual. Rules, yo. <laughs> yo, they 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 had had a, I don't know what the niggas was doing. Fee. <laughs> 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 he had a subscription for that ass. Yeah, they do and shit. You had to make sure they they still was with the shit. Yeah, no. you ain't grow so, soft, nigga. So, so around this time, so deep. Poison yeah. Pen, no. what were you doing? Oh, uh, now I was, you got me by a few, so I was, you know, school and shit, like. Cool. Yeah. What was Brooklyn so like for you, though? Was it still, did you have those moments? 85, I was only, what, 13? 85, I wasn't not, even fucking born I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm, I can't go back yeah. to that. I don't know something. Like, by, um, I was a toddler at 85. We were talking about um, the 90s and shit. Not just you growing yeah. up, growing though. Up, like, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, did you have to I go through up, some of this shit? Or at facts. Least? I mean, I grew up, I grew up, in, I'm from the star, born and raised, but you know, I lived in Sunset. I lived in Flatbush and I lived in the star and in Crown Heights as well, you feel me? So I'm like all borough type shit, you know what I'm saying? Same shit, man. You know, um, like I had a different cuz I used to live in Flatbush and go to school in Sunset. Mm -hmm. And back, you know, in those in those in those years, you know, crossing they, 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 this whole cross the community is something different. Right. Mm -hmm. One block from ne one block to the next block was something different. You feel me? Right. Mm -hmm. And plus, I was black, going to Puerto Rican hood. You feel me? Right. So I was, I was already. Yeah. And, and then I lived. Then I was an American black motherfucker living in Flatbush, and they ain't like me because I was American. Right. I was I was Yankee was boy, blood clot Yankee boy. Every time I walked down the block. Yeah. That's how I learned how to scrap because every time I walked to the B thirty five. A nigga would jump off the steps and try to fight me every day. I'm like, I'm just trying to go to school, nigga. Damn. Yeah. Right. They like, they like me because I was an American. That's crazy. You feel me? That's the first. The first you know what I'm saying? Boy. That still goes on <laughs> now because that, that's what they, they really I was like, like, oh, nigga, that, was, that was my. I didn't even have a name. I was Yankee boy, nigga. That, that was it. <laughs> well, nigga. Uh, on, on the flip side of that, I, I spent three years in Barbados. I came back. I went to 210, and I got in a fight every day because I had a West Indian accent. Mm. But see, when I moved to the side, yeah. that shit flipped because I went from the Caribbean hood to like, they just like, yeah. something, you right. know what I'm saying? So, right. when I moved to the side, the first time I felt like, yeah, I'm home, nigga. Like, when right. I was like, I'm like, yeah, this is, all right, man. This, this is me. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas were mad because I was American and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't the darkest kid in my class no more. Like, yeah. I'm lit. I'm on the ass, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. But nah, man, we, same fucking experiences, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, but see, me, I always clicked up. Wait, wait, wait. I had, I had some friends that was just on... Um, a little uh a little off. They just like doing dumb shit. Like, you feel me? So we just kept that energy where we went because yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? If I got a fucking album ride, if I gotta if I gotta take the G to the motherfucking R and then get out and walk down the block because we were, you know what I'm saying? And then, right. and then go to fucking Bay Ridge. Nigga, I'm getting the full fights before I got to school, nigga. Wow. You feel me? Like that's just how it was, you feel me? Because that was the tip. Like, you talking Crown Heights riots type shit. You talking, yeah, nice. you talking tension with blacks and Italians. Mm -hmm. You talking tensions with blacks and, and Hasidic Jews. You feel me? Right. Like, it was just wild blacks racial. It was wild racial tension. Yeah. So you always had to be on your square. Like, I used to, I used to go to Bensonhurst, get chased out of Bensonhurst. You what you doing at Bensonhurst? My, 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 one of my best friends was there. Like, I, I, went was, to I, was, I was always a nigga that went anywhere. You feel me? I went to Lafayette yeah, High School. Bronx, I was always in the Benson like, Hurst. Yo, my nigga, I was down a block from Lafayette, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right, man. like where my Marlboro was at, bro. Yeah. I was on 13th, I was on Stillwell, I was on oh, High Love. Man. And, and all them old Italian niggas. Like, them mm. niggas hated our guts. You For feel no me? reason. Because we was black, nigga. 
But but yeah, it, again, that, that for no is reason. It. So like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of our early tension is just straight up racial tension. You feel right. me? Damn. Like you know what I'm saying? And, and this is you, generational. You, 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 I'm, talk, you, I'm talking that you, you said Hawkins type shit. Yeah, like when me? I got to Lafayette, like, like that, that Yusuf, like Laf Yusuf Hawkins shit happened in Bensonhurst. A lot of people think Lafayette is in Coney Island, but it's actually in Bensonhurst. Bensonhurst. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just close to Coney Island. Lincoln and when and Coney I got Island. there, when I got to We're Lafayette, to that Yusuf Hawkins shit had just happened. You know what I mean? And the tension was there, but I felt more tension. Let's break it down, though. You, Yusuf Hawkins. Yusuf Hawkins was a black teen who got killed, assaulted, and killed out there by on, on in a race or hate crime, basically some racial How bats, beach. violence. It beat him to death to, with that. Yeah, with so was going. He was, he was going out to purchase a car. I believe he was going to purchase a car, right? He's I don't like, even remember. He was like six. If, if my memory, if I'm fucking up, correct us in the fucking nah, whatever. But no, nah, listen, no. Nah. You said Hawkins, he was at Howard Beach trying to buy a car. He was like 16, my nigga. And he went to Howard Beach trying to buy a car. And he was out there and they you show he was in the wrong neighborhood and the wrong color. Hold on, Yusuf Hawkins wasn't that. He that, wasn't that, the Howard, Howard Beach nigga. Yusuf, Yusuf Hawkins Yusuf, was. You go on, brother? He was the Bensonhurst. Like, it was Bensonhurst. Yeah, I'm Benson tripping. Hurst. Who was the fucking Howard Beach dude? Hold on. It was the Yusuf Hawkins was Bensonhurst. 1989. Was that Yusuf Hawkins? That was, that was that, 16 year old black teenager from East New York, Brooklyn, who was shot to death and that was, on August 23rd, and 1989 in Bensonhurst. Bensonhurst? Yeah. Which one was the Italian community? But they was both. It was, they were both. Partly, that it was, was around the same both, time. They though. were both dealing with black and Italian tension. Both of those incidents. Yeah. So, Somebody partly for fucking up was a long time ago. But long story short, that was a lot of shit going on when we was real young. It was, it was that and drugs, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that birth, the hostility that people had. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, though, like, had, that's, that's, I mean, that, that. that's real talk. That's that's real shit. But like when I went to Lafayette, I ain't have no drama with white people. I had drama with Coney Island and Marlboro. Well, not, <laughs> <laughs> not really drama, but it wasn't full on drama. But that's what but any you felt the tension the from them. Yeah, them niggas was crazy. That was the tension. I, you know, the problems I had came from them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I didn't. I mean, eventually I got along with all them niggas and we was all good and shit. But you know, like the Marlboro, Marlboro was. It's just a set of projects with like 90 buildings Look, sitting in the middle of this let, white let me, let me tell you something. neighborhood. I, and these niggas was disrespectful. I know myself, like uh, Coney Island is just... A different. It's a different world out there. I think I personally think every I, part I've of seen, New York... I've seen top tier battle rappers jump in the ocean. <laughs> Yo, shut She don't even want to react to it. <laughs> why? Because she got an LOM suit in her fit. That's why. <laughs> I'm playing. But, that was funny. but yeah, Coney Island's crazy. Nah, look, I, in my opinion, I think every part of New York City that has every island, they're crazy. They crazy yeah. in Long Island. They yeah. is. In Long Island, they crazy because they think, because they forgotten. You know what I mean? Yeah. Staten Island, same shit. Same People thing. mention the other four boroughs, they yeah. don't mention them. They they bang extra hard mm -hmm. for their respect. Right. They fucking retarded. Coney Island, same shit. Far Rockaway niggas yeah. out they fucking mind too. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. They, they just don't call it an island, but it's the same shit. Niggas yeah. out they mind. Facts. That's a fact. They out they mind, Now, now at, this, at this time, um, this is when Music was imitating life. Mm. For sure. And not the other way around. Mm -hmm. I feel like nowadays it's the other way around. Well, I but feel back like, then. I feel like it was always a little bit of both. Because when you think about it, like, if you hear the truth, if you talk to somebody who knows, like, who really, really, like, you watch those, those Vlad TV interviews with people who was there during the death row days or people who knew Easy E and all of them, mm -hmm. right. they tell you different stories That's of Ice real. Cube. You understand what I'm saying? Like he so wasn't this he wasn't like this that, yeah. mean gangster we knew. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? But he was painting the picture and it was effective yeah. right. or whatever. So it was always I feel like it was always a little bit of both. I just feel like it's out of hand. You know, it got out of hand at a certain point where yeah. the where, where where the life started, you know, imitating the music. You know, art started. Even LL Cool J would say, life. "Yo, I was imitating the gangsters I saw in my neighborhood." Mm -hmm. Or we'd be talking about them. I so. mean, that's what we. I mean, I wear a chain right now because my chain's still long because I grew up watching Kane, Rakim, and them niggas. They chains was long. Right. You know, the young rappers they they rock short chains and they shit. Chokers. That's their thing now. I'm saying yeah. I'm not hating on it, but that's their thing. You, we all influenced by the shit that come before us, whether we know it or like it or not. You understand right. what I'm saying? So yeah, but that you know. That was that. 
So let's 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 get into this music thing. We talk about beef on the streets. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about beef and music. At one point in time, Boot Camp Clink had some issues with rest in peace, um, Christopher Wallace, mm -hmm. the notorious B.I.G. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, it came out. It came about because of creative shit. You know what I'm saying? It was. It was basically. You know, back in the days, you couldn't like. You couldn't have. If you you couldn't. Fighting was a big thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't do the same thing somebody else. Like, like you know what made me stop? I used to rap. I used to use melodies a lot in my raps. Right. Right. I stopped when Fifty Cent came out. Because he was doing that. Because that was he took that lane. He took it. That was but him. You, but you didn't stop when Ja Rule was doing it. Because Ja Rule was doing something completely different. When 50 mm. came out, he was a hardcore rapper mm -hmm. using melodies, which mm -hmm. is what I was. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Ja Rule, you know, he was making songs for the ladies all the time. So that yeah. I didn't feel like that cut into my lane. Right. But he didn't start that way. No, he didn't. But what yeah. I'm saying is when he blew up, that was what he was doing. Right. And so I didn't feel like that cut into my lane. Deep yeah. voice and all, it didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because he was I didn't make I don't I, I don't make records like, you know, sexy records and shit <laughs> right. like that. Well, I, I right. believe fifty studies the forty eight laws of power. No, absolutely he does. And he definitely kinda like was like, okay, I'm gonna destroy you for this, yeah. but I'm gonna take it at the same right. time. Right. Absolutely. But when he the point I'm making is when he did that, I laid off of it. One day Ruck asked me, Ruck was like, Sean lives on. Ruck was like, yo, how you feel? You know what I'm saying? 50 doing that. And that's the shit you do. Right. Cause I I always used way more melody than Ruck did. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, I don't know. But it made me think. And from I don't, that point, I, don't get pegged right, to I started to, them. you know, I started to taper off with that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like, if, 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 if you got the same shit I got on some, on some, on some level creatively, that's always been a problem in hip hop. So was that the issue with That with was Vic? the beginning issue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It what, was, what, what, what? it was a hook. It was a hook that, um, it was a hook. It was an OGC hook. You know what I'm saying? And. For what song? For the storm. It wasn't even a hook. Oh, the beginning of the record. It wasn't a it was yeah. it was a hook for Biggie, but it wasn't a hook for us. It was like Top Dog made it a hot line, Biggie made it a hot, hot song. song. Right. Right. Which That's, was. Which was the um Get Money remix. Mm. Right? And you could be as good right. as the best of them. Mm. Right. As if you listen to the, the first, I think it might have been track one on the storm, OGC first album, they the first song. The, um, they rap. It was the storm, right? It was the record. It was the, the song. The song was, the, was called the, the storm, storm yeah. right? Top Dog start off his verse with that. Mm -hmm. I could be, could as, be good as good as, as the, the best, the best could be as bad as, as the world. world. And then he, you know, but don't test me. Dio was headed up to. Then he went into his into his verse and shit. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, and and Biggie saw us perform that before, and we was cool at a time. Like we yeah. was cool. Like I remember one time Biggie and them niggas got me so high in a club, I needed to go sit down because. <laughs> some, was, was this the tunnel? No, it wasn't the tunnel. It was, was it the, the tunnel? It was this club that was on 13th Street, right? Yeah. Like so, I say all that to say we was good at one time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We had been around each other, this, that, and the third. Right. It was all so love. yeah. So. You know, it felt like when 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 two when, when when you know we perform, we do this show at the Palladium, and OGC rock like you know OG boot camp boot camp means basic training, which is exactly what we was doing. Like some of the members of boot camp was still learning to rap good, while we was putting out records. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Louis OGC was one of those groups like they was still de in development stage. Right. And. This was the like we did this show at the Palladium. It was the duck down. It was the duck downs. Um, the duck down release party. It was like we for launched the, for the label, right? Yeah, we launched the label in the Palladium. That yeah. was a dope night. You remember that night? Nigga, I was. Nigga. I know you was there. I, mean, I, was, I was doing <laughs> sound check. I was there like. Look, look, this night was the best ever. This night was so dope, right? But yeah. in my opinion, like just from my own, you know, as a big brother, OGC graduated that night. Stay caught ranked that night. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was I was a big brother with goosebumps on the backstage, like, yeah, my niggas. Right. Right? And when we got off stage, it seems like Biggie felt the same way. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, he saw them, he gave them wild props. You know, me and Ruck was killing shit from day one. So mm. we always used to get those props and shit. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. But you see the little homies, you give them the obligatory pounds. All right, good shit, little homie. Good shit, little homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this night, it was one of those, nah, you look, niggas love. got busy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it felt like a week later, Biggie and them had this song out, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> It was like, that's, yo. That's, that's, so we, we felt the way. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? We was like, you know, we felt like they was, you know, like like they, you know, Bad Boy was on the rise at then. It was like, they had the pipeline. They could put out, they could make a song tonight and it'd be out next week. Right. We didn't have that strength yet. You understand what I'm saying? So well, How long did it take you guys? We still don't have, well, it, it, it took to the game changed to where you, you know, you put music out yourself. We ain't never been the game's favorite kids. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And and, it, and you, you have not to Not even with La Flu, La Fly. Nah, I mean, like, you know, out. back then, that was the label <laughs> shit. Like, everything had to go through a process. You record a record, you know what I'm saying? It gets mixed, it gets mastered. They put together a marketing plan. They do all this, this, that, and the third. All this wild shit that me and you didn't even understand back then. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but but Puff's way of doing it was put the record out and then figure I mean, that's, that other shit out. Well, that was the way it felt to us. Because for me to say that right now, for me to say that's just what they did, I don't know. I wasn't there. All we know is how we felt. We know we performed this, you know what I'm saying? We made mm -hmm. this shit. My niggas performed this shit. A week later. These niggas was there. A week later, this shit is out. We felt the way. That's crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it was a time when Mystical was running around with a crew called the Boot Camp Click. Before he was there with No Limit. That's going to be a problem. Because... He was um, from the boot state, he was no, a, he New was Orleans. Veteran too, right? He used to be in and the he army. Was a he was an army veteran. Right. All of those things. So that was his. We didn't know that. Yeah. We didn't care. This is hip hop, B. <laughs> yeah. You like, understand what I'm you saying? Got, you like, can't have the same name. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? So that was the, you know what I'm saying? That was, it wasn't, it was, it was a creative thing that spilled. So I feel like, I feel like or originality was um, very important back very then. Very important back then because I remember Raekwon calling out Big for his cover. Biting mm -hmm. album to yeah. And sure saying that it was biting yeah. Nas's Nas, album. Yeah, I want to, hold on, I want to first, I, but I want to take a break to say salute to, rest in peace Big and salute to, Lu, to Little C's and all of the JMAs. Salute. You understand what I'm saying? Jeez, that's my man. All of the JM Girl. niggas, because we see each other all the time and it's all love. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but but like I don't, you know, like at, at the same time, it's like it, it's a history. Right. That for me, as some like a, a student of hip hop and growing up, mm -hmm. I never understood that. Right. I never understood I like the, the video where I saw um Boot Camp kick a fake biggie. Mm -hmm. Off the stage, I was like, "That was that was, was that like, was what's going on? That no, was that. not not my two favorite niggas. Like, right. like <laughs> why y'all niggas rapping? No, don't do that. But literally, Brooklyn, that's shit. literally. Vax. It was like it was like oh, we Brooklyn. Why you why you doing that? That was our response to that. Right. That was that. Mm -hmm. you know but it ha it had nothing to do with Tupac. No, it didn't have anything to do with. Because I know there was a strong association. Yeah. Well, what's what's funny is. If you listen to the Tupac story, you know, you, the Tupac's and Biggie's beef is out, you know, it's, yeah. that shit's been explained it, a it's, thousand it's, it's million like ways. It's like some childhood friendship. You want to know what the, fun, the, the illest shit is, though? The night when Pac got pissed off at Big and them, it was the night they were recording that song that got us pissed off at him. Mm, how? Explain this. You listen to the story, watch any one of the stories, they'll tell you... Big Pac wasn't, Biggie be like, Pac wasn't there to see me. He was there to record some other shit. I was there with Junior Mafia recording the Get Money remix. Mm. Right. That's so the song. So who was he coming to see? Pac was coming to record a song with, I believe, Little Sean, Lil the rapper Sean. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, shout out to Little Sean. You know what I'm saying? Another, another Brooklyn, right. Brooklyn rapper. So that's, that's how shot? the story goes, who, yeah, when who, he got shot. Like, who, who, you know, got like, a, who got a lot of stories to tell, too? Right. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? that's crazy. But yeah, like, but that's, that's just the ill shit. It wasn't like, our, our issue with him didn't have anything to do with Pac's issue with him. We just happened to catch issues the same night. Mm. The issues just happened to spark from the same night. Yeah. Wow. So Biggie was recording... Um, get money. The get money remix. Mm -hmm. The night that Pac got shot, got shot in Quad Studio. Mm -hmm. 
That's <laughs> yeah, nah, that's that's crazy. I mean, that's what they said. I don't know, but that's what they say. You know, I'm like yeah, yeah. whenever, whenever Biggie, you know, what I mean, I'm just going about using their words. Like, you know, we was you no, know, we wasn't. He wasn't even in, no. I didn't set Pac up. I wasn't. He wasn't there to see me. He was there to see somebody else. Right. I was there with little with Junior, Junior Mafia recording X Y Z, and it happened to be that song. You know what I'm saying? So what was the drama that followed? Because there was all types of stories. Some shit happened. I mean, some shit happened. Oh, you, you, you feel like that's something you could talk about or no? I is mean... It, is it over? Yeah, it's over. I mean, I wouldn't have been saying... I wouldn't be saluting you no know, C's and... DJ if it wasn't over. If it wasn't over. I'm, right. I'm a sincere dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to keep it fake with a nigga. Like, mm -hmm. if I don't fuck with you, I'm not going to act like I fuck with you. I'm not gonna answer no questions about you. You understand mm. what I'm saying? Mm. It's niggas, it's somebody, it's somebody I wanna punch in the face right now that's a rapper. I'm not gonna bring his name up. You understand what I'm saying? The same like, <laughs> but how you gonna do that? You the same person, God damn it! God damn it! They wanna know, they wanna know! They want the good shit! Listen. We want, want the good shit! Listen. We want God the damn it! I'm just saying. Listen, yeah. listen, I, I, I'm gonna say it again. It's 2020, bro. It's 2020. I think. It's time that mm -hmm. all these stories just just hit hit the air mm -hmm. because it's like, how is the next generation gonna learn if they don't know what happened? Mm. Yeah. If they don't know, yo, this is an issue that such and such had, and it led to this. Mm -hmm. So we no, need I, to I, move I, I a feel different you. way. I respect, you know what I'm saying? I respect yeah. it. I respect it. Is this the first time that you heard something about big like? Being a, like a biter, because this is like I, I hear this often. I, but I'm not From gonna like say I'm not gonna say it's a biter. It's marketing strategies. Well, if you notice, thing. Thing. throughout the years, how many baby covers have we had? Well, yeah, hell yeah. You did what I'm saying, right? Little Wayne, Drake. Um, there was Biggie. Let me tell you something. There else, was Nas. Right, it's because they, they and there was a couple more. But then it's also kind of sometimes like a homage kind of thing. Like, all right, this, sometimes is, this was my it favorite. Is. Right. Now but let me do what they did. Other times it's subliminal. You don't even know you biting. Right. You don't know. Right. You don't know where right. that melody came from in your head. Sometimes. Subconsciously. Right. Just Subconsciously. like a bar. Me, battle rap. Sometimes, you, you know, and, the, and it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be writing. Be like, oh, yeah, niggas. And I'll be like, ooh, that's fire. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure... Nobody never said this before. But that's mm -hmm. tough too. Hey yo, Cortez, you yeah. ever heard this line? Yes. Hey yo, Charlie, you ever heard this line? Hey yo, such and such, you ever heard this line? Yeah. No? Cool. And sometimes you'll still say it and somebody be like, ah, oh, I said that. You'll be like, ah. Oh, Let me tell you oh, something. Right. Let me tell you something. You know what I mean? When Charlie battled Tay Rock the first time, Ruck called me. Charlie used the bar I used on dirt. I'm not saying he got it from me, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's. But you never know. Well, listen. I you never know, but that's the thing. Yeah, you, you, you never, never know. know, but I wouldn't accuse. I like, I, this is the thing. I feel like certain punchlines, mm -hmm. you know, we get them from pop culture. Right. So somebody could, could easily think of that shit. Like, like I watched, the, I watched the, the Loaded Hollows Guns and Cake battle. Right. By the way, was probably one of the like like fire. That shit was ridiculous. Shell cases. Fire. Like 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 with the with with that's loaded hollow second verse, with the exception of that, I don't know if that was a choke or if it was a mic problem or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you take that out, that shit is one of the best that shit is one of the best rounds battle rap ever seen. Right. Like I them agree. niggas was but on that in that battle, like I look at shit and I see shit that remind me of me. Mm. I hear bars that I've used already. Like, Kung Lao, I've used that twice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I use you Kung, recycled your whole shit. I use Kung Lao in two different ways. I used it on Dirt. I mean, I, I used it on, um, on, on Rockness AP. Yeah. And I used it on Dirt. Right. Damn sure. I just flipped it. I did it, I did it a little different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I recycled my own shit. Yes, that's what yeah, I did. Yeah, yep. I, I, I did. Yeah, I do it too. But um, also, like, like the movements Lux was using, like that shit was familiar to some to my movements. Like and, and, and I will say, like thinking about it, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But here's a story. Like when I first recorded my solo album, like my first my fir first time I, I recorded a solo album was right. right after Magnum Force. Right. The intro, the album was called Planet Rock. 
which I'm promoting on Patreon right now. Patreon.com slash Rockness Monster, right? I'm, it's, it's there, right? right? But um, the intro song on that album was called Welcome to My World, right? And album Planet Rock, intro, Welcome to My World, right? The hook, it comes on, it's like, the hook goes, welcome to my world, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Welcome to my world, motherfucker. You gonna love it in this song, but come on in, come yeah. on in. Welcome to my world. Why years later, I don't even know how long later, because like I said, I recorded it right after Magnum Force, right? Mm -hmm. But at some point in my life, I heard a Snoop Dogg song where it was called Welcome to My World. The, the cadence was the same, right. but it was Snoopy. It was, welcome to my world, nigga. D -P -D. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was, I was like, did I steal that from him? Like, did I get that from him? Like, mind you, like, you know, we was both on priority. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, where did, I couldn't, I, I, I can't tell you which came first, the chicken or the egg. You right. understand what I'm saying? Right. I say all that to say that that happens. Right. You know what I'm saying? You never know. Like, like Charlie might whatever or, or, or whatever. Like, you see how you, I, 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 you know, I watch this podcast, right? Mm -hmm. And I heard, I watched y'all talk about how, like, mad rappers are just imitating twerk. Imitating twerk. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You just un unconsciously start doing what you like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, as a as a grown ass man in my forties and shit, like mm -hmm. I look at through I look at these things and I you know, I look at them different. I'm like, you know, I'm 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 zen the fuck out. It's it's hard to make me lose my cool nowadays, right? right? But I look at these things and I be like, yo, you never really like, you know what I'm saying? You never really know, like, like, like we could have been mad over nothing. You just never know. Like, like we was dead. First of all, we could have just we Talk could have out. talked to a nigga. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This, like, I'm big on that in this day and age. Like, you're so tough, but yeah. you can't have an uncomfortable conversation. My but bad. I was trying to look for this word, <laughs> and I, I, I knew there was a word for it. Right? It's called cryptomnesia. Crypto who? Cryptomnesia. Cryptomnesia, right? Cryptomnesia. It's when you have an idea that you believe is an original idea, mm. but you heard it before somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So in your head, you're like, oh, this is a crazy idea, but you heard it somewhere else. Right. Mm -hmm. Cryptonesia. And that happens a lot. Cryptonesia. Cryptom. Like crypto, yeah, with crypto, crypto, yeah, crypto, 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 that's how I used it on, on the Rockness AP shit. Like, wow. I used the same. I think like, Luck stole it. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, like, following, like, the big it thing. But wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, I want to I get back to that. So, but what was the outcome of the Biggie drama? Well, the That's shit, awesome. eventually, I feel like time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't feel, like, in, in all reality, you know what you need to do? You need to have my man Starang Wonder up here. Because he can give me a... He going to tell you things that I'm not willing to tell you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Because it's not my place to tell you. Because from what, what, I'm, what I understand, he was involved in some of it. Absolutely. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, so it got, it got physical. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. Mm -hmm. Starang was involved in the physical part. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, you know, shit... Strung along for a little while, things, whatever, well, whatever. But was that like a super downer, like feeling like, damn, we got beef with the hood? Nah, we was used to beef in the hood. We Brooklyn niggas. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean as far as hip hop, though. it's Biggie too. We like, didn't know that. We it, we didn't look at it that way. Like we was fresh off the streets. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's like we was just now. We was just now decepting. You know right. what I'm saying? Like literally, like so it was like fresh, like it was like this ain't nothing new. It, it, it really was. What I mean for us, for Health the Scout and OGC, yeah. For Smith and Wesson and Black Moon, it was different, uh -huh. right? Because they had been in the game a little bit, like like them niggas. It was about business. Yeah, them. they initiated my zen. Mm -hmm. Like them niggas single handedly initiated all this zen shit in me. Like yeah. we was on the road one time. I was, somebody was talking crazy. I was getting ready to put the Swiss beats on them. 
And Buck and Drew, like, them niggas stopped me in my tracks and had a very serious conversation with me right there in the middle of the food, like, Saying right what? there. Saying what? It's like, yo, you cannot, we, first of all, we was in North Carolina. They're like, yo, you cannot do, you not home, right? Mind you, they both five foot four and five, five, five and shit. I'm six, you're five. six, 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 ass. Like, they're like, <laughs> rock, listen. You can't, like, they, like, like, they pulling on my clothes, like, you can't do that, son. Like, listen, you can't. We I, no. First of all, nobody wants to get locked up out of state. This, right. that, and the third. This is business. This, then all of this shit that you know they 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 play to my intelligence. Of course, I'm a logical nigga. I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right. I, the dude I was going to get was on the stage. It was sound check, right? So he was talking crazy. I was going to get him, and they stopped me. And once they calmed me down, Ruck just appeared behind the dude. He was like, yo. <laughs> Him? What you want me to do, son? Him? I'm like, nah, son, you good. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. He's about to pull out. He was getting about to pull out the clippers. He's about to pull out the clippers, nigga. Clip. Clip. But they got, Clip they got to me. They got to me. They got to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I'm like, chill out. But I think to a certain extent, we we all um, once you get into hip hop, you kind of realize your blessing within it. Cause you don't know at first. You don't. You're a young hood nigga and you're like, yo, this is what I want to do. But then you get there and you realize the consequences of your actions. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's no longer, you're not playing on the same field tell anymore. You something. By that time, by the time the shit started to, you know, to, to turn into a real life situation with us and them, Helta Skelter was already banned from High 97. Mm. Banned? Yeah. Who banned you? Hot 97. Yeah. <laughs> Who got us banned? Uh. Ruck. <laughs> <laughs> How did he do that? Hedge Clippers. Recipe show of bite. The Hedge Clippers. Hedge Clippers. The Clippers. The Hedge Clippers. The Hedge Clippers. The Hedge Clippers. The Hedge Clippers. So the streets and the business started, y'all was, was kind of mixing that yeah, too man. much. Yeah, Listen, man, we ain't have no home training at first. Like, like we came straight from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Straight. Yeah. Straight. Straight from the streets. Like, and like, like, it's not like sports where you have groomers. You understand right, what I'm right, saying? Right. You have security. You know, you know the, M the NFL, them niggas got, they got a, a security hotline. If they want to go to the club, they can call security and they go with them. I didn't know that. They got that in the NFL. A security hotline. I might have made up that word, <laughs> but the concept <laughs> is factual. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But um, yeah, like that shit was crazy, son. Like it, it just what it was. But Ruck got us banned because it was a dickhead security guard. We went to well, it was Duck Down for it because they sent Helter Skelter, an ungroomed like a young Helter Skelter, right. to Hot 97 with no with no representation. Like you ain't saying no like 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 nobody is say no label that. rep. Yeah. No, no management was with us. Right. So what was y'all talking about? Huh? Well, what had happened was we didn't, <laughs> we didn't, we didn't make it to the, we didn't make it upstairs. What happened was we would, we our career was killed by security, security nigga downstairs acting like a dick. We supposed to be there. We know we supposed to be there at mm. nine o'clock or whatever to right. go see Angie Martinez. Right. And the security nigga is acting like a complete asshole, right? And we starting to lose our cool. I'm like, all right, Ruck, calm down. I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go upstairs. Like, I'm about to ignore him. He's not trying to let neither one of us up, but mm -hmm. I'm like, he's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna go up anyway. <laughs> hold it, you know, hold it together, please. I don't know what I said to him. I don't know what I, but I'm just like, I'm gonna go up there, hold it down. I'm gonna... I shouldn't have left him by himself with that nigga. Oh. You understand what I'm saying? And. <laughs> and <laughs> And we was banned from High 97. After yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, banned. Son. They banned us. So this happened before the Junior Mafia shit started to come to a head. So it was like a double whammy. It's a double whammy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And You're not on the radio. Now you got beef with one of the people that, that's, that's supported the most by the radio. Right. 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 So it was serious, like, and 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 Bad Boy was just growing in strength, like, like this was this ninety six ninety seven I'm talking about. Yeah, but, Them niggas was going up. From a fan's perspective, I hated to see that. What? I 
hated to see to see what that there was drama between. Oh, I mean y'all two because. I mean, I didn't These like were my well, peoples. Having drama with them, being that they were so, like, they were peaking, right? Did it, like, kind of blackball you guys from. Absolutely. Yeah, because it forces people to, to choose, choose sides, sides, right? Absolutely. Right. So, you think that, you know, that hindered your you guys' progress within the music industry? Yeah. Mm. Hell fucking year. Yeah. <laughs> Hell fucking year. Like, right. like just, just like even if you, like even if you don't take sides, if you think, if you look at me and Math as two real niggas, right, mm. on any level, right, and we got a problem, to, we got a problem with each other. Right. Do you want both of us in your house? <laughs> Probably not. Right? You don't. Yeah, it's yeah, not you understand what I'm saying? Drama. So you're gonna have to choose, right. right? And you're gonna choose the one that's the most profitable for you. Correct. And like I said, they was on. You know what I'm saying? They was on, they the was up. on the up. Yeah, it was on up. But um, moving past that, right? Salute to them again. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, salute shout, to Junior Mafia. I don't salute, like you know because because with this whole you know with niggas now that somebody could just. Say what they mean. I mean, just just just, just be in their feelings and type their feelings out to the world, and they get it. The world get it instantly. A lot of shit gets misconstrued, and right. a lot of a lot of snowballs turn into fucking avalanches. Yeah, yeah. So, I, 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 but I think we we way <laughs> past that. Yeah, I mean, we, I, I, we are, but you know what I'm saying. I just I know how I know how I never underestimate the stupidity of people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I'll, I'll agree with that because even off the last episode, I saw some people tweeting some stupid shit. Yeah. And uh, I was. Two things you never. Un two things I never underestimate. Never underestimate the stupidity of people, and I never underestimate the pettiness right. of human beings. That's a fact. Like, people could be just like, son, you could have pissed somebody off with something small, you long don't time know. ago, you don't and they know. still your friend, but they might just. They might not tell you about that kick me sign on your back today and be like, fuck it. Just for that. Just for that. I just for whatever that was like, in the third grade. Was like, when, uh, it's just stupid. Like Marlon when he killed Pop. Yeah. In the movie. That was um above the rim. Above the right, room. above the rim. Like shit like Bugaloo. that. I always think about stuff like that. Like, it might be the person you least expect. Let me ask you this. To just Let me ask you this. Was was Marlon walking in slow motion at the end of that when he when he killed Pop? Yes, he was. Believe he was? So. Yeah, Cause I got a bar that supports that, like something like. Yeah. I don't want no the, the, don't I'm I'm not trying to have nobody to be the nigga walking in slow motion at the end of my movie. Yeah, that's yeah. why I treat he people was with respect. Casually cutting through the crowd, mm -hmm. and, and that's you know, he, and he, and he of, said, hey. I'm glad you said it. In a lot of movies that wow. I love, it's always like that, like mm -hmm. uh, Bronx Tales. One of my mm -hmm. Yeah, that was same mm -hmm. thing. Slow motion. Yeah, he was slow motion though. at the end of your movie, boy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's <true. laughs> That's true. Yeah. Oh, Carlitos way the same thing. Yeah, that shit always oh, plays shit. out. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. That shit always plays out like, God, blew my mind right now. Mm -hmm. but, um, but like, what, I'm interested to know, like, um, you know, we spoke, I, you know, we spoke to a lot of people who, you know, had music around that time and was popping. You guys were like, really lit, mm -hmm. right? What was like, the business like for you at that time, right? And, and, and. When you say business, what you as mean? As far as like the labels and you know, how much money was you making? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell like you something. 90s, how much money was you, you making? Think of 90s people don't know and something, record right? sales. They a think lot of, of people like, don't know this. Like I didn't even realize it until my man Strang mentioned it. We was some of the first niggas with a 360 deal, mm. and we loved it. On Duck Down, yeah. So, Duck Down was our management and our label. We did it like that because they were our friends. Isn't that like a conflict? It's a conflict Absolutely. Of That's what a 360 deal looks like. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, you got, you got your label controlling everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Duck Down was Buckshot and Drew High. Those was our fucking friends. And it was our only friends in this industry. It was like, we going in here together. Right. However, we got to do this. What? You going to be the, what? You going to be the rapper? You gonna be till this day. We all got multiple jobs when we go on the road. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like back then, that's what it was. It's like, all right, y'all gonna be the label. Y'all gonna be the what? Well, first day was the management. It's mm -hmm. like, all right, we trying to start our own label, right? right. Of course, we want to be on it. Right. It's our man's. This Why is not? what this is what we've been doing. Yeah. We didn't look at it sideways in no kind of way. We would joke about it every once in a while, but it's like, son, we walked. We in this country together, just me and you. Yeah. Who the fuck we trusting but us? You understand what I'm saying? So if you gotta do this 
and that, then you're going to do this and that. I'm going to do this and that and that. And that's how it was with us. So, mm-hmm. so duck down, ate off our merch. They ate off our shows. They ate off our everything. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we loved it. We didn't feel robbed. We felt like we was paying our mans to hold us down, which in all reality was what we was. It's exactly. just, it just goes against the business model of of what, what traditional yeah legitimate like. business. But and y'all shit, trusted right? each other. Yeah, we trusted each other. I still trust Drew High and Buckshot. You know what I'm saying? I curse them niggas out. You can't not in front of me, like on some real shit, like. Right. So nah. like so in retrospect, oh, yeah. Go you got a question? Yeah. In retrospect, right? If you can, if if you felt like you could change anything that happened back then, what would it be? If there's anything you would change, I would change that. Biggie shit. Mm. And why is that? A lot of niggas be like, I wouldn't change none, all that shit. Right, right. Yeah, I feel like you keep it real. That's why I'm asking. Whatever. Sorry, shit. Yeah, I change a lot. I don't believe none of you niggas when you say that. I I could. I would delete a couple bitches from my history. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't need that lesson. (laughs) (laughs) I definitely didn't need that lesson, my nigga. Like, you could have let me skip that. And mm-hmm. just had some old nigga with me, like, it's, don't, don't fuck with this. It's, it's, it's two Elaborate things I would definitely it. change. Uh-huh. With hindsight being 2020. I wouldn't have did, we wouldn't have did that big issue. Cause it was like, I put myself on the front line, burst of all. Like, I was so with the shits. So with the shits. When you say, when you speak about that video and you be like, yeah, y'all, y'all was kicking the fake big, it wasn't us, it was me. <laughs> You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It was me. Mm-hmm. I performed the act. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was so with the, the shits. Shit. Mm-hmm. That was me. Like, if I would look, if I'm on your team, nigga, you got a rider. Right. Right. Like, for real, for it's, real. It was going down. Right. right. So that was me. You know what I mean? And that shit, and that shit, if I do it, it's believable. Right. Like, I can't even play around with my words in interviews. Like, I can't, like, like some niggas could say all kind of flagrant shit in their interviews, pl- playing or whatever. Right. Like, I cannot look into a camera and say I'm a killer nigga when I see him and be playing. Right. Because when you look at me, you believe that shit. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like, for whatever reason, like, I, it's something about... And, and you don't come from an era that, that, that's about playing like that. You know what I'm saying? But, but like, I mean, I mean, but on some real shit, like, a lot of, like, a lot of rappers from whatever era they get away with saying some of whatever. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like we just, like like me and we, but me, you know, because I could definitely speak for myself, I feel like I'm judged differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I say is way too believable. It's like, no, he's not just talking. He's dead ass. Would you say Helter Skelter was the most believable on boot camp? Most believable? Yeah. I believe- I would. Huh? I would. I mean, I think we was all believable because we was all speaking from a place of truth. Nah, it was just a different, different type of vibe coming on. Well, we was, di- well, and I was hearing stories on the side. So, well, well, like, well, well, but that's what I'm saying. That adds on. You know what I mean? That adds on because it wasn't so much that you believe. Well, maybe it was, but what added to the belief is what you knew. It was the other shit you heard. Right. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and and we look a certain way, me and Ruck. Right. You mm. understand what I'm saying? Like, if I tell you, like, like you would believe that I'm with the shits before you believe. Like, if you had two niggas telling you I was, one nigga was telling you that's a real nigga, other one was telling you I was soft. You would believe the nigga who telling you I'm a real nigga first because I look like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have been, I could be a soft nigga though. You understand what I'm saying? But I look this way, so it just seemed that way. And me and Ruck, you know, that shit shine through in the shit we talk. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And our, in our bars. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You said um, there was two things. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? You, you said there was two you things that change you would change. Biggie? Oh. So you biggie. said the biggie what, what situation the biggie, and biggie what situation? else would What was the other change? one? Um, I wouldn't have separated myself from Duck Down when I did. Okay, so tell me a little bit about that. Like, what was the reasoning for you to Well, separate? it was when, when Priority and Duck Down parted ways, um, Priority did some funny shit. Like, Elaborate. when we originally signed our, like, Duck Down originally signed a priority, it was already in our contract that if Duck Down and Priority parted ways, 
for whatever reason, they priority reserved the right to keep- first crack at Helter Skelter. Right. Right? It's like, all right, we ain't care. Let's get this money. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's what we did. But um, when they parted ways, it was like, duck down the priorities, part ways. D- Drew High hollered at Brian Turner, who's the same dude, if you, if you watch the NWA movie, when Ice Cube went and he batted down the priority, mm-hmm. he batted down yeah. the plaques and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Turner, right? Gotcha. He was the CEO of Priority even when we was there. And when, when Priority and Duck Down parted, Drew Ha told Brian Turner, he was like, you know, they was having their discussions. He was like, yo, listen, right? Whatever we going through is what we going through. All of the guys want to do solo albums. Send me their release papers now. We could work out our shit at our own pace. Their shit, we don't want to hold them up from whatever it is they planning on doing. Right. Mm-hmm. And Brian Turner sent everybody's release papers except mine. What? Chess move, right? He didn't send mine. I mean, you remember what I was to boot camp back then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? When He's you the fir- guy. He's right. the voice. Right. So he didn't send mine. I get a phone call from Drew High telling me that this is the case. Yeah, he didn't send yours. I'm like, what does that mean? Well, why? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm about to find out. Right. Mm-hmm. So I went to Cali for the first, that was the first time I ever got on a plane by myself too. Mm-hmm. Like I always traveled with the gang, right? Yeah. Went out there, dolo, like we gonna, f- <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> got some explaining to do, right? I yeah. went up there, hollered at my outlaw niggas, niggas drove me up there to the label, told them to wait downstairs cause I knew what Ice Cube did. Yeah. You know what I'm, saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait downstairs. We ain't gonna yeah. scare the niggas up and all that. I go upstairs yeah. and um, you know, um, long story short, Brian Turner, well, I'll give you some of the details. I go, I walk around the office, like I'm looking for Brian Turner. Nobody, he's not here. He's he's nobody knew what I don't know where he somebody said he ain't here, and then somebody said they don't know where he is. All right, somebody lying. So I keep mm-hmm. asking. I've been signed a priority through duck down, but I know this staff for years, right? Go around office, these niggas is really hiding this nigga out. Right. Until I saw my homegirl, Dana Mason. Like now Dana, she had worked there, she had quit, she had worked back there, she had quit again. I had no idea she was back there. Right. I come strolling around one of these corners and I see Dana, I'm like, oh, hey, Dana. Right. Hug. Where's Brian? Right. Next Thank thing you. I know, I had a solo deal. You understand what I'm saying? Wow. That's what it was all about. Like, she, went, she wasn't going to hide him from me because that was my homegirl, right? right? So she took me to him or she told him what I was in front of this nigga in a matter of minutes, right? Right. And what he was saying was, he basically was like, I wasn't saying that you couldn't go nowhere. Mm-hmm. I was just trying to buy myself some time because mm-hmm. I wanted to crack at it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, my problem wasn't never with you guys. You understand right. what I'm saying? You know, me and Duck Down, we, you know, we went through, you know, it ain't work out with us. Mm-hmm. Right. But I wanted, you know, a shot at it. I explained all of this on a title song on Rockness AP. Go get that. Um, <laughs> get that. Right? Um, but like, he offered me bread, more bread than I ever had, mm. right? I'm like, all right. I talk to you later. And I call Drew immediately. Like, yo, Drew, this nigga talking about a dip. You know, and, and I'm, my mind frame is like, son, ain't we beefing with these niggas? Like, yeah, like, what's going on? Like, like they talking about the fuck out of here. But Drew Howe was like, yo, you should probably take that. I was confused. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm like, ain't we like, like how does that go? Like we beefing with these niggas. Like you know what I'm saying? What the fuck, multi wild wild? Like when you told me what you told me, I thought you told me because you wanted me to smack one of these niggas. Right. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't think you and was going to say that. And they were just hiding Brian Turner. Right? They were just hiding this nigga. Like <laughs> the fuck? Like so, you know? He was like, Drew was like, yo, listen, the game is changing right now, B. He was like. Deals, record deals are not falling off trees right now, B. Like, it's scary out there. These is all, like, all of these are quotes directly from, like, verbatim. It's like, it's scary out there. What like, year is this? This is 99. 99. Woo. You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, the game is changing. It's scary out there. 
bills are not falling off trees. Right. You should probably take that. Like, what? He's like, listen, you know everybody there. They like you. You like them. Y'all cool. You have a decent rapport with them. You understand? This should be a smooth transition for you. It's going to be rough for all the rest of us. You understand? Those, those like... Those right there weren't his exact words. Right. Just that last sentence. Everything else I just now said, I pulled verbatim from the conversation me and Drew had. Right. But that last part was just kind of what he was saying. He's like, yo, it's going to be rough. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, this would be a smoother transition for you. You got that there. Like, that's in your pocket. So what Take was it. it. What was your decision? I took it. Right. Like, shit. What was this deal worth? It was worth, like... Close to 400000 Which is a dream right now. For what, though? What was your contribution? How many albums? Well, it was, um... Yeah, think about this. How many albums was it? Well, no, 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 no. Y'all got me tripping. You get that money, that's for one album. That's for one album. Yeah, you gotta get a new budget for a second album. But you know, you don't you don't hear about that. Y'all right? just y'all asking me that question had me thinking about some shit that I already knew, thinking I ain't know something that I already knew. No, 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 no. So one album. One album. Close that's to that. Four hundred thousand. Yeah. Close to four hundred. It was more like three seventy five, three eighty. And no know what I'm Which potentially was the biggest deal. It was any, the biggest deal I had. Any boot camp. Artists. At that point, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That, that was so a like a G. That was on that. Well, that was right before that because the priority deal didn't work out. Like that shit, you know, like they, they was bullshitting and I started getting disgruntled and don't nobody want me on their label disgruntled. So we ended that shit and then I went to... Uh, Lethal? DJ Lethal, you know what I'm saying? Which is when the Walk Like a G shit happened. So wait, you fulfilled that contract? Yeah. Right, you did the album, mm -hmm. you got the, the cash. I got the cash, but the album never came out. Okay, so like I, I did the well, album, but it was sitting there shelf. Like there wasn't nobody doing nothing. And that was like, one of the things you said you regretted. So yeah, you you know you regretted album, taking that money and going. That I don't solo? regret taking the money, but I regret it. I regret separating myself from my niggas. Mm. I could have I could have took that money without doing that. Mm. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But the the separation from my niggas came at a different point. It came. Well, it came around that point. It was with the solo deal. This is how it happened. It was like, and it wasn't from my niggas. It was from Duck Down. You know what I mean? Hold on, the hold company. On. Is this around the time I heard that solo freestyle? What time? What solo freestyle? See my B double. B um, double. When was that? Green Madro. <laughs> bust a nigga bubble. My nigga Rhino. Yo, we lost in this dino. Solo plus we roll. Line is in your nine, bro. Yeah, Mavis like a little kid. Yo, you don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. I picked up this, I picked up this clue yeah. tape. I was already in love with Boot Camp Click. Right, right. Rock was my nigga. Yeah, right. My nigga. Back and when I heard this freestyle, <laughs> I was like, this yeah. is the truth. Why isn't this in the top five on the clue tape? Right. It's hating. I'm riding with yeah. my head. Fuck that. Fuck that. Thanks. That's love. Yo, I never forgot that shit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> never forgot. It, it was on a, this is the way we walk in New York B. Yep. The first yeah. three letters go, boo, scared you. Then there's a T. All y'all niggas see. Hey, the MP's me. Shit. Military Punisher, make Punani puke. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yes. uh, any, any nigga, any nigga got the fire, to nigga. test, throw up your dukes, I lump your grill up, fill up your face with bumps. If your boys ain't for real, you better replace them <laughs> chumps. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> I don't yeah. remember what that shit was wise. I well, what I said, what I said, what I was, I'm lost. I lost my point. Um, um so, so this was 99. Right. But yeah. wait, it, you, you had released yourself. something in 2005 with Duck Down, no? Well, 2000 and... No, 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 no. I released shit with them after that. Right. Like, all of the boot... Like, the, the, the third Helter Skelter album was on Duck Down. Exactly. All of the boot camp albums are on Duck Down. Mm -hmm. But it was just, at that point, right? I remember my place now. At that point, when I was signing the deal of priority, everything was cool at first. Like, Drew told me to take the deal. I'm following the, 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 the advice of my big homie. I'm going to go get this money. We're going to go do this shit. But 
it all went left when I had this dope ass lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. High power, fancy, famous ass, you know. Yeah. He was this nigga lawyer, that nigga lawyer, this right. nigga. Everybody connected. Right. I had this nigga, and he looked at the contract that Priority was offering me that, that, that I had, and he was like, all right, this is halfway decent. He looked at some things, he was like, all right, we want to get this bumped up some, you know what I'm saying? Get you a couple extra points on here. I'm going to say no. No. Of course. No. I'm going to say yes, right? Let's go, right? So... That right there is what is where the problem came in. How? When because, you asked for more, they was mad. Because no, it wasn't. No, because that money was like prior. This money was coming from priority. Right. right? I'm signing to priority. Right. Right. But duck down and priority are parting ways. But duck down still, you know, like duck down built, you know, was part of building the brand health the skelter. Right. So. Duck down and priority part in ways, that don't mean duck down gets nothing. Right. Duck down still gets something off of this rock nigga. So there was right? part of the contract so, as well. So, no, that's, that's part of what, that's duck down and priority working out whatever they working out, uh -huh. right? So, which I didn't, you know, I don't fully, I don't, I didn't fully understand all the details of that then, but, you know, you need to be, you, you're supposed to be compensated for your work. And they built, you know what I'm saying? Help the skelter from the ground up or whatever, or they were there. We built duck down too. But that's besides the point, right? What Priority did was like, we asked for four more points. Which equate to? Points is basically pennies on a dollar. Right. Like you selling albums for $16 back then, mm -hmm. as an artist, you don't even make a whole dollar. Dollar, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You making pennies on a dollar, and that's what those points are. And you also recruit your upfront money for right. those pennies on the dollar. Right. right. All of that. Right? So, when my lawyer is like, you know, we should just try to get these points bumped up. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. That equal more money? I'm with that. Yes. Right? Um, but what Priority did was like, listen, Duck Down ain't involved. Listen, you want four, we'll come up off two. Get the other two from Duck Down. Like, they ain't even got nothing to do with this project. Like, they ain't la 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 la. They played me. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? They put, like, they was holding the chips. They had to carry them. Like, like at, in the meantime, as, at, while the negotiation is going on, I got bills to pay. Like, life is going on for me. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So, it was a thing where Drew High and I'm like, yo, B, how the f whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. This ain't what we got. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't come knock us over the head with this shit right now. This ain't how this shit. So this is when shit started to bump heads. Mm -hmm. You understand? Duck down in priority, they, you know, they both, they both feel how they feel about the situation. They feel, these niggas feel they entitled to this. These niggas feel like they ain't entitled to this. Like, this is, Rock is our artist right now. He want more money. We gonna give him half of it. You gonna give him half of it. So you got caught in the middle. I got caught right. in the middle. But what and grounds did they have to say, hey, Doug Down has to give you this? Was there anything in writing? Like, how could they even suggest it's, such it's a thing without... It's, 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 it's the negotiation. It's the negotiation between who? It's like, listen, it's like, between me and them. It's like, look, right. you so, the label, right? I'm asking you for more money, right? right. They like, listen, I'm going to give you half of what you're asking for, mm -hmm. right? But, but I'm also giving these niggas money for nothing right. in your mind. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, but the, get is the that, other half from these niggas. But is that off the record, right? So they they giving the money off the record because they ha they can't. It's I don't. Not, it's I don't, not off I don't, the record. It's like a, It's like a. You 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 sign through this situation. Right. So and like I said, it has to be. We were signed to priority but, but, but through duck down. But there's still right. situations set up where, okay, should we part ways? I still eat up off until this. this point. Correct. So they're saying they're telling him. Go get the points off of Duck Down, who's still going to eat off right. of this album Because they're probably getting some kind of perpetuity from them because right. they made... They oh, that's, but, that's, but that's their agreement with Duck Down and Priority. It's like, you. look, this was our artist first. You taking him now, but that don't mean that we get nothing for but everything we've done. But then forwarding you to Duck Down is almost like a slap in the face, no? Like, What'd you we'll say? figure it out, right? What'd you say? Like it's almost slap. like a slap in the face because it's like, go figure it out. Right, like we can't compensate you for that. 
go figure it out with somebody else. Well, that's what, what, what it was like. It wasn't with just anybody else. It's just like, these are your family. We giving your family money and they not even involved no more. Right. We gonna give you half of what you asking for. Get the other half from your family. Correct. Cause right. we ain't, cause they ain't doing shit right here. Right. Cause you we, understand we're what I'm giving saying? them money based on based off of what they did in the past. Exactly. Right. right. So me being caught in the middle, I'm like, yo, all right, look, I got bills to pay. I need this money now. Right. So I holler at Duck down, and rightfully so, they like, you know, I mean, th- these wasn't they words, they exact words, but what they trying, what where they. I, Hindsight is twenty twenty. Like they trying to play you, right? Like right. the fuck. <laughs> Still, they, exactly. they can give it to you, but they you can to give come it get to it you. Right. They trying to dick us around. You right. know what I'm saying? But my real life was happening at the same time, so it was pissing me off. You know, I'm I'm, I'm I'm caught in the mix. I'm struggling. Bills, this, that, and the third. So, you know, I was kind of, I you know, I I got angry and right. I separated myself from my family for a period of time, right. and not the whole family, just the label, right. duck down. You know, like right. it wasn't like I wasn't boot camp no more. It wasn't like I'm not doing like I. They, Secretly, there was a Heads Ain't Ready Part 3. It was supposed to go on my solo album. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and... I didn't even know that. I noticed it. <laughs> I didn't know that's your nigga, look, man. Look, right? And it was supposed <laughs> to go on my album. Like, we recorded two versions of that shit. Burn. You know what I'm saying? Like, with all of the... Only, only, only nigga who never got... Who managed to not get on it was Tech. We was just waiting for him, and it would be a complete song. You understand Burn. what I'm saying? But... I say that to say I didn't leave boot camp. It was just I'm not doing business with Duck Down because you know I was tight. But back to the original question, I separated myself from yeah, the niggas. family, yeah. and that I feel like if I wouldn't have did that, we could have had a different outcome. Like because I was LeBron well, to them was, niggas at the time. But you wasn't getting compensated on what you deserved, so I don't think what do you that's mean? a bad idea. Like so, like for instance. Even like your lawyer, you guys came up with a situation where you felt like this is what you were worth, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what they should have compensated you for. Mm -hmm. Now, if you approached the label and said, hey, you know, this is the the business aspect of Mm -hmm. it. This is what we're doing. And they was kind of like, nah, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like you had every right to kind of be like, okay. Well, no, I had every right to be mad, but I, I still didn't have to separate myself from my family. That's a fact. Well, I didn't as have a, to. Yeah. I could have been mad. I could have punched you in the stomach. No, no. You understand <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm not going pu- like, to punch him in the mad, face because he's my man and he's right. white so guys, and it's going to show, right? I could have punched him in the stomach and we could have kept it moving. You understand? I could have been mad. Right. You know, it wouldn't have been the first or the last time I was mad at Drew High. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been the first or the last time we disagreed. You understand what I'm saying? But what I do feel like is if I would have stayed, if I wouldn't have took myself out of the fold emotionally and mentally, you know, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, you're following directions from Drew High. No, but that's not what I'm talking about. Signing that deal wasn't it. It was taking myself away from my nigga spiritually. Because right. for a minute, it was like I wasn't fucking with Duck Down. It wasn't that just that I was signed to over to this. It was like he's not fucking with them. You know what I mean? So I feel like, and there's no proof of this, but I believe that if I would have stayed there, Drew could have got us a better deal for Duck Down at Def Jam or something. But he but he told you to take that down. This yeah, time. he did. But so what? I didn't have to. Right. I'm a grown. I was, was a grown ass you, it was man. Up to you at that. Yeah, it was a grown ass. I'm a grown ass man, and that shit hurt my partner. I didn't know that till after he was gone. Hmm. I learned that from from his wife. You understand what I'm saying? But I didn't know. Price. Yeah, that shit. Like the, the nigga was like, nigga Rock took that shit. He's like, what? Like I didn't know. He not gonna say that. Niggas is prideful. He not gonna yeah. say that to me. He gonna get money, Sean. Right. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm gonna get you on. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. songs with son on the shit. You know what right. I'm saying? It was just regular, but inside that shit bothered him. You understand what I'm saying? But for me, it was like, all right, you know, I could have did that and still, like, if, because I had songs where I was talking reckless mm-hmm. about duck down. You right. understand what I'm saying? So when you do that, like, how Russell Simmons going to sign Duck Down without LeBron James? Mm. Like, I want to sign you niggas, but you ain't got the nigga. 
Right. And that's no disrespect to my niggas. I'm just saying where I was then, like niggas looked at me like I was going to be the one. Do you, you understand do, what I'm do saying? Do you think that that, because I, I looked at you like that too. Mm -hmm. Well, from the flu, the fly, school sky. Right, I right. was like, nah, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Price might have been second, Strang was third, and then so on and so mm -hmm. forth. You know what I'm saying? But do you think that that fueled Price to say, I'm taking over. Absolutely. Duck down. Absolutely. And he didn't have a choice. Because I remember a record where he was like, Duck down is mine now. I don't know what the rest of you niggas yeah. is doing. Yeah. It's mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. I'm the face. I used to and pep talk over. that nigga. Yo. Yeah, but I told Ruck, one time I tell you, I promise, one time I saw Ruck, we, no, not, I didn't see him. He brung me to, um, he used to host this, he was hosting this, this, this showcase for my man Shalik. Out in jerk in 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 um in 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 you want you want some of this? Yeah. Mixing nigga. Out <laughs> mixing. We Yo, mixing man. tonight. Just... We mixing We're tonight. Cup up, man. <laughs> look, look, he used to host, he was hosting the showcase that was out in Jersey, right? Fresh cup. And it's funny because it was around the point, it was around that time when niggas thought Helter Skelter broke up, right? Mm -hmm. So Ruck told them niggas he was bringing me back next week. They was like, nah, you ain't bringing no rock back here, nigga. You ain't bringing no rock back here, right? So I went back there that, mm -hmm. you know, I, he brought me back there. And, you know, it was like they seen Jesus in the building. And they got me so drunk that I got a whole nother story for another show, right? But, <laughs> but, 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 but that night I told Ruck in plain English, we were standing outside the club smoking. I'm like, yo, B, you... All you need to do is learn to be the nigga you are in real life, in your raps. Right. Because all that comedy in Ruck raps, that's him in real life. Yeah, facts. That nigga is, facts. That nigga is facts. for real. He was for real retarded. Facts. Like, for real, no, real. No, I did a, I did a show that's in a Miami fact, with him. Bro. For real retarded. And, and, and Ruck, Ruck was like, um, yo, there's one of you battle rap niggas out here. And I'm like, dang, he talking about me. <laughs> he was like, nah. And the Mad Ills was there. Uh -huh. He was like, yo, come up here. He was like, yo, drop the beat. And he dissed the nigga. He was like, yo. And I, I remember the last line, he was like, I make your mom suck my dick with barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, you that nigga rock. You that right. nigga rock. Right. Yo, but he, he was a fun person to be around, mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Yeah, and some it, was for real stupid. And, but, but, but for real stupid, but you could tell, like, don't go left with this nigga. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. don't go left. Mm -mm. Everybody around him looks like a, a shaved gorilla. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> leave this nigga alone, mm -hmm. son. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but we had so much fun on that um, that show. I was, yeah, it was great. Yeah. Facts. Mm -hmm. Facts. Rest in peace. Oh, yeah. Peter Big Bro. Rest in peace. But around this time, this was 99. Mm -hmm. And you were going through that. Mm -hmm. and things went silent for a little while. Mm -hmm. But around 99, that's when Poison Pen started fucking with battle rap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened? I mean, like I said, I was, I was still, you know, I was young, school kid still, man. But, um, I was freestyling and shit. Like the funny shit when I was fucking with these niggas, I separate. I, the niggas ain't know I rhyme. Mm. Ain't none of these niggas know I rhyme. No clue. I separated. They didn't know you and DJ Self rhyme. Shit, me and Self started rhyming together. We went to school together, man. We used to fucking. People take, don't know this. This is history, man. People it's, it's don't history, know this, man. Nah. So, I said, nah. Fuck you. Watch when I see you. First of all, this nigga Self. You got bars, nigga. First of all, the nigga Self. Heard about you, nigga. First of all, the nigga, self, you, nigga. Listen, first of all, nigga self was nice. Facts. Okay. The nigga Self was nice. You feel uh -huh. me? And like, we used to, you know what I mean? So, but it wasn't something I took serious. These niggas was nice. You feel me? These mm -hmm. niggas was albums and shit. I'm still, I'm still yeah. in school just watching this shit. All the shit he talking about, I was there for half the shit, but I was a little nigga. You feel me? A lot of the shit he mentioned, I was there for right. a good amount of that shit. 99, he, though, you he, was he coming to age. Me. But like, as far as this shit, man, like, I was already running around battling freestyle and shit, whatever have you. And um, we was doing these events, with, uh, 
We used to battle New Eureka Post Cafe and uh -huh. hardcore. Shit, shit like that. Hardcore hip hop store, Flatbush. Yo, let me tell you, I still got hardcore. Hold on, we cut it. We cut it, nigga. We cut it. Yo. So one day, I heard Cannabis was going to be at hardcore. He no showed, didn't he? Because he no showed everybody. Hold on, hold on. Okay, continue. I said, yo, I'm going to battle this nigga. <laughs> Wrote my rhymes. I went to the block. I said, yo, Thursday, battling cannabis at hardcore. Nigga said, mmm, don't shout the block out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you want your own one, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> He said, you want your own son? That nigga's gonna cook you, son. You're dead. Oh. It's over. He's like, nah. Don't you know. shout out the block. Leave Please, us out of this. Hopper, don't shout out the block. But, but you know what's funny? Around when, oh, that time when Cannabis was allegedly running around, like I was, you know, I was still young, so there was the bigger homies was, was battling this shit. Right. But niggas was pulling up. I, I was an 88 hip hop. That was a that was the one, that was a hip hop like internet station. We used to do a Wednesday night shit. I remember that, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And someone was supposed to have came up there to battle. So it was like 30 niggas ready to battle Just this waiting. nigga. Yeah. And this nigga, That's what it was. This nigga no show every... We niggas are still waiting on cannabis well, to man, show for a bro. I battle you on the net. I battle you on the net. And, 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 and that's like, what? And that's the shit I, because... I, I see what the next show, nigga. But to keep it true I see what the next show, nigga. You better what? But to keep it true. That's, that's how we was cut. That's how niggas was cut. So right. when the niggas was saying all that shit in the record... Niggas was literally at the shows like, yo, what's good? <laughs> nah, what's good? What's good? You said it on the record, nigga. Nigga was not showing up. Nigga, nigga was no show. Yeah, he, he no show that hardcore. That nigga week. no show hardcore. Yeah. Nigga show it in hip hop. This ain't no disrespect. You know, came, you know, whatever. But it's just the truth. I wouldn't have showed up you in feel neither. Me? <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> <laughs> not, but then, not coming in. Nineteen niggas lined up. Yeah, battle. Nigga, but no, he was talking that shit. He was talking that shit. All you niggas got lost. He was up. Yup. Cooked yeah. up for me. Nah. I remixed like three of his verses. <laughs> and I flipped the whole shit on him. Yeah. Nah, but so long. Um, <laughs> far to answer that question, we was we was doing these events and shit, running around, just running around the scene. Me, and my brothers, you, my bro Breeze ever flowing. Shout out to Breeze ever flowing. PH Pumpkin Hell RP, my brother. Woo! You know what I'm saying? The Brooklyn record. Yeah. So anyway, uh, fast forward. Let's fast forward to two, to 2000. Actually, you feel right. me? So. I, got, I was working for this website, got this job, you know what I'm saying, like, for this e-commerce site called Hook.com, hook you feel me? Mm -hmm. And um, it, was, it was one of the first uh, e-commerce sites, you feel me? At the time, that, that shit wasn't really a thing, so you can go online, get your hip-hop news, buy whatever hip-hop clothes was, was popping at the time. You know what I mean? Had, had a, we, on the website, we had a contract with fucking on um, with Eminem. So we did Eminem, SimShadyWorld.com. I'll be at work sitting. I'm, I'm young as fuck sitting at work and fucking Harry Belafonte walking in. Hey, fellas. Like, I'm sitting mm. there talking to Harry Belafonte and shit. Mm. Like, it was wild. You feel me? I ain't never talked to Harry Belafonte, nigga. And, 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 <laughs> I, I had a whole conversation did. <laughs> about best style of Harry Belafonte. Hey, where you from? I'm from, be oh, from, from best style. He started talking about motherfuckers were like 1960-something and wow. shit. Like, I had like a half hour conversation with Harry Belafonte at my old job, real shit. But anyway, um, so through, through the company, every, it was, it went bust because, you know, that was that, during that website. No, that, no, no, that, no, 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 before, before you get to that, that I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm, I need okay. to tell, I need you to tell how many legends in fucking battle rap came through that event that you was throwing. I'm, yeah, I was, about, I was about to get to that Including shit. Including myself. Yeah, no question, no question. So we started doing these events every other Monday. You know what I'm saying? It was every other Monday. We had a lot of money to spend and shit. So, well, the company had a lot of money to spend. Well, my personal money. <laughs> so um, niggas had a lot of bread to throw around. So every other week, we did a, we did a battle event. You know what I'm right. saying? And the only reason I ain't battled, not because I was better than nobody. I worked there. It was a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. right. That's the only, so it wasn't like I was that nigga. Like, how be the one setting the battle and battling everybody? That shit wild corny. Mm -hmm. So, right. but, I was, but I was on suit. The young rap nigga. So it was like, you, we balance. I'll get all my niggas from bragging rights, from here, from there, from there. Right. And with my sister, Mahogany Brand, we would throw these events. This back when Poison Pen braids went down his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back yeah. when, you know what I'm saying? I had hang time with these things, you feel me? Yeah. Right. So um, we would do the battles every other week. And um, then, okay, then to answer the question, damn, so many people went through those doors, man. Like, and I was just giving people shots, man. Let's, so let's count them down. We're going, we going, we going to sit. 
Matt Fox when he had braids too. You feel Facts. me? Yeah. Facts. Facts. Young you Brad. Brad. I, I, I don't believe Facts. it. Young Brad. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't yeah. believe it. Man, I took I took an L in the first who? round. To who? I'm not saying this. You always say it. You gotta say it. We've had this conversation since You gotta say it. He's not. He's not. I don't ever remember. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause I had like. I had like five rounds that I knew was fire. So the first round was like, it would have been the sixth round. Right. So I said, I'm going to go light because this nigga didn't look like he was nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a voice stage. I played the nigga and everything. I grabbed the nigga chain. I was touching it and all that shit, looking at it and all that. Like, I was playing the nigga. I went light with that round. That nigga had one good line and they bumped me. That's how it was at the time. Who? I don't, look, 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 look. I'm never gonna say. So, that. all right, so yo, okay. I, I, I really don't remember. I really don't remember. So I'm never. So, gonna <laughs> so you're never gonna get the thing, nigga. Fuck so, out of here, nigga. So this this is short list. <laughs> Mad five Smoke dishes. Wow. Facts. Show. Facts. Immortal check me. Facts. Damn. Die Bali. Facts. I gave Jenny's first shots in the Facts. Mexican. Got and I was on. dead. Gen one that night. Got him on 106 and Park. Nice. You feel me? That's um, crazy. There's, there's different stories going with that, but nigga, talk to me. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. If I, if I don't oh. won that first round, I would have ended up with Jen. Let's go. So who, who else yeah. came, crazy. Came, came from there? Um, I'm, I'm missing a lot more, bro. But it was it you was, said was, enough, bro. Many yeah. styles. Many styles. Woo. Many my man. Many Woo. styles don't get enough credit. Many styles. Shout out to many styles. Tone deaf. Mistress, there's, there's, mm. there's, there's more niggas. But anyway, but the, but so on. Um, we started doing that shit bi-weekly. Every other Monday we would do the. It was we was at Wetlands, you know what I'm saying? The club downtown. It was it was on Vavin Street or whatever. Have you? I believe if memory serves me correct. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, and um, so we was doing that shit every other week. I was not a host or nothing of that nature. I was just getting everybody. I was getting all the MCs. I knew it. I was the How plug. was the battles, though? Like, what, what kind of what format was, was it? At this time, it was, I believe it was, um, you know, it's, it's a different, it, it was early 2000s. It was different. It wasn't just head to head, like, boss. I mean, something, I mean, niggas went head to head, but but it was free. Okay, one round was freestyle. It was all over beach, though. This is all over okay, right. music. You know what I mean? So, you know, we had one round with motherfuckers just straight up rhyming, whatever had you. The time limit was like a minute, short as fuck. Okay. Right. But then the second round, I mean, shit's corny as hell now, but it was dope at the time. We, we They would give a motherfucker a word. Shout to Mahogany Brown. Mahogany Brown was actually the one that, that organized the battles Shout with me. She, she, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then, yeah, a lot of... <laughs> don't get me started. Right. So, um, right. motherfuckers give motherfuckers a word, they would incorporate that in their freestyle, whatever, whatever. Right. And the third round would be whatever free for all and shit. You know what I'm saying? So um, I was not a host at all. I was in, I was in, I was in the spot. Shout out to Big Zoo. Big Zoo. EO, Big Zoo was in the joint. EO Dub, of course. Shout out to my brother Big shout Zoo. Out to, shout out to Ill Flow. Ill Flow. Oh. Elflo, Brooklyn Legends, nigga. Shout out to Elflo, nigga. I fucking used to do showcases with yeah, Elflo every week. That's crazy, Shout out right? to, to my nigga Brickface, nigga. We, nigga, come on, Brickface, man. Brickface, straight for real, nigga. He's out for real, nigga. But anyway, so on. I told y'all this is a Brooklyn episode. Facts, my nigga. Facts, Let's go. my nigga. So, um, yeah, we would, do, we would do it every other week. And, uh, oh. So yeah, I was just coordinating everything, you know what I'm saying? I was doing the guest list. Was I was making sure everybody got in. I was giving everybody a shot. Right. I didn't even know, I ain't no diabolic from a hole in the wall, bro. Right. I was I was at the door getting everything together. And this fucking big ass white boy walk up, just look mad serious. He's like, yo, put me in the battle. I'm like, I don't know you nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was like, I'll smoke everybody. And the way he said that, said, I was like, I kind of believe this white boy. I kind of believe this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Straight like that. I'm like, I'm yeah. put you in the battle. Right. And that nigga just smoked yeah. that. Smoked yeah. that yeah. He, he did lose the bitch. I can't remember who he lost to. Like I said, all this shit. I gave a lot of niggas their first shot, man. That's dope. That's yeah. a fact. Well, well, how I met you? Right. He gave me my first I, shot. How I met you? That's yeah. crazy. She came, um, she came to the block. Damn, she came to the block. She was yeah. opening that door Boys for the car. Yeah. man. But so many poison pen. There's but so many names in the game right now that y'all don't even understand. Right. And I feel like my man don't get his just credit. He don't. You my feel nigga. what I'm saying? Salute don't. Love. Nah. Respect that nah. man. Nah. He gonna get it tonight. He yeah. gonna get it tonight. I love you, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, so, and it was on the block too. Yeah. Like. But I was, yeah, we gonna get to that too. So I wasn't, I wasn't even hosting the battles or nothing. But long story short, we used to have celebrity. Like I said, we had bread. So we would have celebrity hosts every week, every other week. It was about weekly, every other Monday. Mm. So we had celebrity hosts every week. We had like. 
you know, at the time, MC Light, you know, motherfuckers from BT, all sorts of motherfuckers. Wingate. Let's Damn. go. Facts. Facts. Damn. Wingate yeah, all day. So, uh, <laughs> but now that you, no, that's what you was using to win at the time for a little bit. That, that's during that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right. You support right, yeah, 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 yeah. That was doing that every year. That was timeline. Time yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's tied together. Right now, look, look, turn the camera around. It's tied together. I know what the fuck I be doing. Facts, facts. So, uh, <laughs> we, we supposed to have a host that I can't remember who the fuck the host supposed to be, but they ain't show up. You feel right. me? So I'm in it with tragedy, Gaddafi, and all that shit. We kicking it, whatever have you. And uh, tragedy my girl, Mahogany, he, he supported, he was like, everyone. Uh, <laughs> More Brooklyn niggas do dwellers, you feel me? And uh, we was and, and behind him was like, yo, um, we ain't got no host. I was like, I right, no doubt. She was like, yeah, I need you to do that. I was like, who? Mm -hmm. She was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't hosting this shit. She was like, nigga, I need somebody to host this back. I'm like, yo, fam, I'm not a fucking host, bro. Leave me the fuck out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Then could start. Fuck with a nigga ego and shit. Oh, you scared? Oh, you pussy? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I did like this. Easiest way to so get I, it. So I went to the bar. I did like this. Boo. One you time. Can't call no man Damn. pussy. <laughs> Not no man pussy. pussy. He about to do something. And I, went up there. <laughs> and I went up there and I just started hosting the fucking battles. I knew everybody in the fucking crowd and start talking shit. Then twenty fucking years later, niggas still coming to the stage. And, 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 and let me let me tell you, Red. Let me tell y'all niggas something, man. I he don't know that. <laughs> oh, That's why he ain't never gonna find that footage. <laughs> y'all gonna find the tapes, man. <laughs> Yo, hosting battles, bro. That's 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 the least. Yo, but I love putting the, I love putting this putting this shit together, innovating shit, man. You know, putting together matchups and, and doing events things that the motherfuckers never done before. I, I, I don't give a fuck about. This nigga, that nigga, that's 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 it. Don't mean nothing to Look, me. For it's long, cool to be there and get love, but that's it. Don't mean nothing to me. For a long time, if if you know your history, um, you watched the earlier King of the Dot battles. You will see Poison Pen always on stage. Mm -hmm. Always on stage. I, mean, I feel like shit. King of the Dot. I, is King what, of the Dots, I feel like that shit is what that grind was time. After that's the grind time. Yeah, it was like it was like grind time, baby. It was like grind time. Rest in peace, Ph. Let me check. Ph had a hand in grind time, and when that fell apart. Y'all pick back up. We came. To yeah, die. we the great. Well, let's let's go back a little bit, man. Let's that, 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 let's not skate over skate over that over that shit. That's a big part that niggas ain't even. Grind time is. Yeah, I mean, King of the Dot was the last little. That shit ain't got nothing to do with nothing. No disrespect yeah. to the niggas and all that. Mm -hmm. That was that way. Was, uh, yeah. I was supporting them niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying. I made it cool for niggas like us to be over there. Right. Just right. on right. some support shit. Let's keep that shit trail, bro. Right. But anyway. Nah, so the grind time shit. That shit was huge. So, um, to fast forward past those years, because that's the early 2000s, that's like 2001, two, whatever the fuck that was back right. then. You know what I'm saying? And as time progresses, you know, to keep it battle rap related and shit, niggas was doing other things, whatever. But to get back to the battle rap thing about 08, 09, some shit like that. You know, 08, 09? What are you talking about ground going into the grind time you, shit. You, you want to get into 08, 09? I mean, what you, I mean, what you want me to talk about? Because 08, 09, I remember walking outside and somebody saying, yo, I ain't never seen nobody beat my man like that before. What you talking about? Iron Solomon. Wait, you, listen. This thing's going to try to put words in my fucking mouth. <laughs> Pen was the first nigga that told me nah, I won that battle. That's the fact. After, after the battle, I had to give you that. See, my thing is, I keep it. I don't give a fuck. Like, my thing is, family or not, I may, yeah. not, I may not publicly. I tell a nigga in a minute, yo, you lost, nigga. Like, I may not go public and text and tweet and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I feel it, like, I'm going to tell my brother, if you my brother, how I can't be like, yo, you I ain't gonna just, I ain't gonna clown it all. I'm gonna clown, well, I'm clown behind closed doors, cause niggas clown me when I fucked up. And I fucked up. Right. Yeah. That's jokes. how it be. You friends know are saying? allowed to have jokes on friends. Yeah, man. but Math, Math Hop versus Iron Simon was a classic battle. You know what I'm saying? Beats. He got shorty on, on some time. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I will agree. He got that. shorter he on got some shorter time. On, I had nothing to do he with got that. No, I, know, I know you Blake did. Blake Beasley. I don't know what that was about. He got, he got shorted on some time, but it was it was it was a great battle. And I'm, <laughs> he was still gonna lose that round. And I'm, and I'm glad I'm glad that uh, I'm glad nah, that you look. did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and we and we friends to this day. You facts, but, facts, facts. You know, yeah, he, he, he put he put that work <laughs> in. You know what I'm saying? That, but that honestly, that's one of the battles that shaped the culture. The real shit. 
That's a fact. It was like a merger. It was like a merger of two worlds. And I was one of the first lot. battles that that, that, that 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 was a style clash right. because because yeah. there was a time like say a lot of niggas over here like we we doing we you know we doing the expert pain. A lot of people don't like they know the history of like the URLs and shit like that, but they don't know about the. WRCs and the motherfucking mm. scrim jams. Talk about and the it. Bragging rights. Talk about and it. The Tourette's. Talk about it. You know what I mean? Jump Shit. off. Jump. Talk well, about WRC, it. You know what I mean? So a lot of people don't um, know about about that side. So it's a totally it's a totally different um monster. So you know, we come from the era where niggas just it be 40, 50 niggas in a room. And you got to battle whoever. Like the every the that, that I that I was birthed in, there was there was no, it wasn't multiple winners of the night, nigga. Yeah. It was one, <laughs> one winner, winner for the night. Like, that's crazy. This is big bro. I might battle have to battle this nigga. Fact. Like, we all going back, and, and it's one nigga that wins. One nigga that's yeah. gonna win. In the second place, yeah. motherfucker make it like a hundred dollars or something. Everybody else getting a t-shirt and a motherfucking consolation prize. <laughs> you feel me? So t-shirt and a can of spam. If you was me, if you was me at the hook.com, you didn't get nothing. You should have came. You should have came to the warehouse down the block upstairs. We had, yeah, that's on the store. Ah, it's all good. But um, but yeah. So like back, you know, like the as far as you and you and um you and you and you and Solomon, like I said, when you, when you look at the um scribbles and shit like that, they were different. Like scribble jam was a totally complete different monster than Fight Club. You know what I mean? Fight Club was different than maybe a EO Dub MC Challenge or whatever right. have you. So the freestyle aspect, like that, that that battle was the first time in that 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 brought two different styles of MCs because I and Solomon at that time would only battle, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe a well, well a gen. You know what? That's not true because Solomon would go in there and battle whoever. Ever. But That's as far right. as putting people, as far as he was catching you right. making matchups, I should say. He was yeah. catching They, they right. never gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna put you versus him. So that They're was the first time to put them together. That it was like uh I guess I'm not it's funny people call Kyle Solomon a nerd, but like a, a like a, a white fuck a white rapper, you know what I'm saying, versus like a street. That was the first time that that style clash had happened in this in this um I, I gotta give Solomon his props because he battled the source before me. He battled um, the the famous shirt and tie battle was before that. Oh, the shirt and tie shit was stupid. Um, he destroyed Jin after Sirius Jones. Before that, mm. the only battle that I had out that was online that you could look up was me and Dose. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. He still accepted that battle. He was still was like, well, he could have actually dubbed you. He could have dubbed him. He could have dubbed him. He could have dubbed, like dubbed me. Yeah. He could have dubbed me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, yo, yeah. fuck it, let's go. And I think he, he he seen me at EO Dub a couple times. Rest in peace, J Arch. We was out there knocking Archie the same niggas bro. out. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? you had a crazy yeah. reputation going into that already. Yeah, already. So man, listen. So niggas said I don't fuck. I fuck niggas up outside of EO Dub. Dub. What? Yeah, you did yeah. say that. He, <laughs> he no thug. He know me from his people's club. Cause I don't fuck, fuck niggas, niggas up outside of EO Dub. Niggas. Shout out to J Arch. We were knocking out the same niggas that's, out there. That's the, yo, my you nigga Arch knocked the nigga out one, one time. I was, listen, we going off on tangents, but fuck that shit, yo. Right. One time, yeah, yo, EO, shout out to EO Dub, man. It, it used to be every week, but it, it, you know it, it comes. It's, it's sporadic now. But we do the MC Challenge every year, Challenge of Champions, all that shit. Shout to EO Dub, Vice, Prolific, Big Zoo. Zoo. We gotta shout get to y'all James, on the show. Shout to Angel. Shout we to gotta Vanguard. Get, shout we to everybody. We gotta get Dub. y'all on the show. But um, but anyway, a lot of shit happened outside that one on one avenue. Man, fuck, I ain't gonna get out of that over there, over there on the east side. Right. Yo, but one time, son, I don't even know. <laughs> it was over this, Solomon's wife. This, Oh, okay. Shout to her. I ain't gonna tell her name out here. Whatever. Shout to her. It was over Solomon's wife. But yo, I remember one time this nigga was, at, we was outside Solomon's the dub, wife. right? This homeless nigga, stuff. you know, out there, mad homeless things on the east side, yeah. right? Mm. This homeless thing was just acting out of pocket, just barking and shit, man. So you know Archie. Love my love my bro. Miss my yeah, nigga for Archie. Real, right? man. Archie's is great. Ar- yo, now, now, yo, yo, let me put it like this. If I was a Pokemon. Arch is the evolved version of me, Bruh. son. Yeah. He's the evolved yeah. version Bruh. of me. Like, if you coolest, took pictures, man. and you took a picture of me and Arch, and you put them side by side, you'd be like, yeah, this nigga's going to evolve into J. Arch I, I one day. Like so. As you can see, I'm, I'm not the most svelte nigga, right? Uh-huh. I'm not the most sveltest of niggas. Yo, when, when, when the baggy ever phased out, and I had to get rid of all my Mitchell and Nesses and all that shit, them shit was like the fucking... Size 8,000 and shit. Yeah. I gave all that shit to that nigga and then fit him regular. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before he turned up, he was always like, yo, chill, relax. Right, right, ah, right. Ah. <laughs> so this nigga just like, kept, like me, bugging, right? Yeah. Just kept wilding out, talking, ah, ah, you know what I mean? Just dumb shit. This nigga just, yo, he kept telling me, yo, chill, relax, man, stop. Yo, I'm going to hurt you, man, stop. But, but on, some, on some cool shit, not yeah. even riled, riled up and shit. And this nigga, this homeless nigga just got too close to this nigga, son. And this nigga yeah. swung. Niggas, niggas felt the wind. It was like... Boom! Yo, he knocked this nigga straight cold. This nigga <laughs> fell out like feet up. Bah, right. Hit the right. ground. Right. Hold on though. Another homeless nigga. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah. Another, Another homeless, homeless nigga ran from across the street. Had chalk. Why the fuck this homeless nigga had chalk? I had no idea. <laughs> so why this nigga's laying spurred out on the floor? This homeless nigga choked out. Yo! Choked the nigga out. And we just like, yo! What like, the fuck? And this nigga's, this nigga's dead saying. laid out on the ground on the east side. <laughs> with so chalk Pete, around this nigga. So right? Pete, the next week, <laughs> yeah. I go through with my homeboys. <sighs> and um, some niggas talking shit to the bartender. Now the bartender turns out to be like right now. That's yeah, like that's Solomon's that's wife. his wife to this day. Chef, you know what I'm saying? She was always cool people. Yep, always cool people. So they got up on stage. He was like, "Yo, fuck the bartender, that fucking bitch." Ah, ah. And we was like, "Nah, she be hooking us up." Yeah, I'm about her. She's good. <laughs> She's good. All right, cool. So the niggas walk outside. My man is like, yo, I'm not feeling this. I'm like, yo, whatever. Let's do it. <laughs> he walks up, yo, what's that shit you were saying about the bartender, my nigga? I grab one of them niggas. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Stay down there. Yo, we was just moving around, just. <laughs> niggas down, son. And then after everything was like the, the whole debacle, after the, everybody got separated, this, that, and the third, da, da, da. I walked back in and Vice was like, yo, you want to perform, my nigga? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> it's Vice. It. Let's my nigga Vice is it. Like, Vice yeah, is ignorant, right, right, son. He, he called you assassin? Yo, assassin? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He called me that. I'm saying it, yo. What's up, you related? Yo, yo, what's up, assassin? Shout out to what's Vice, up, assassin? Pro and Zoom, Shout out to Vice, man. Look, look, EO Dub, EO Dub is the, um, the longest funny. running open mic in New York City. Yeah. I don't think people know this. Yep. It, it, but they deserve weekly. credit for that. Mm -hmm. that. That takes dedication. Yes. The longest, I'm talking about over 20 years. Yeah. Over yeah. 20 years, this open mic has been running. And I want to bring some light to that because I feel like there's a lot of artists out there that have talent and you want to you wanna kind of grow your craft. EO Dub is a perfect place to go. That's Definitely. What's up. Where's EO Dub at now? Um, Bowery. No, nah, they, they moved from Bowery Electric. Um, they were at People's Forum on, on in, in Midtown, and the last event I believe was they they moving around now. The last event was at the Knitting Factory over there in Williamsburg. Right, right. So just follow EO Dub on the ground. Look, look, look. We, 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 we gonna revitalize that. We gonna revitalize that. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same spot anymore. They they moving around. So. But continue. So you so you got um you got grind time going. Oh yeah. Okay. Damn. You good with see you? This nigga really on his shit. This, you don't smoke. You don't smoke weed no more. Just get back to the point. I, at, at, end of the at the end of the show. You Your short term, term memory is popping, my nigga. That nigga shit lit, bro. That nigga. <laughs> my shit is trash, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I, I could hit a nigga with three of them things, nigga. Yeah, shout out to Chef Trash. Three of them things, nigga. Oh, right. shit. Let's go. So um. Fast forward to the grind time ever. So that was like a little bit before that. Well, that was right at the time, right, right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. Shit. That yeah. was right at the beginning. And you got swayed that battle in. Cal. Yeah. So let's fast forward to the grind time ever. Um, grind time was already going on. I wasn't. Oh, I didn't invent that shit by no means. Right. Um, I was around when it from from inception. Like I knew, but I wasn't involved. Mm -hmm. I was. By that time, I was already out on the road. You know what I'm saying? The, the music shit was clicking. You know what I'm saying? I'm out there with my bro, Modem Technique, and all that you shit. You do know people think grind time was your shit, right? 
Yeah. I did. I did. Nah. Yeah, I heard it. Until man. just now, nigga. Nah, <laughs> I mean, Grand Star Peace Coast was my shit. Mm-hmm. You feel yeah. me? But that was also passed down to me from PH. We can get into that. So, um, Grand Star was actually um, direct, as far as the niggas that created it, and mm-hmm. whatever. Right. It was direct. Mad Ills. It was direct and Mad Ills at first, and I believe yeah. Lush, Lush One came on right. a little after. I like Correct. to talk about all that because all that other shit happened. Yeah. Whatever. Shout out to all Yo, yo, hold on. Turn the camera around. Yo, Lush One. We need to get you on the show. Cause low key, yeah. He's been around like twenty years. He been around that long? Yeah. I mean, he was involved. Ten plus, in that. Ten, like ten plus. Mm-hmm. Ten plus, definitely. Yeah. But he's definitely been involved in some big moments in battle. Right? Yeah. Lush one, we need to get you on the show. Big shots Continue. to Lush. Big shots to Lush. Yeah. So that was that was their um situation first. I ain't really had nothing to do with. it. I was already doing my thing with the music and all that shit, and um. You know, out there with the bro model technique and all that shit. I helped him out. You know, we help each other out. That's my brother. So we we've been running with that shit for years. But right. um, how I got wrote back in, you know, because I was around for the Fight Club shit and all that, man. Yeah. I was I was there for all that shit. You niggas just going crazy, man. You know what I mean? We, we, I was there for Nims battles. I was there for some of his well, battles. You, you was there for when I battled Nims. I was there when you battled. I was there when you battled Nims. How okay. did you first I went get involved? You, that, I, I, I wanted to like your that. life. I, I, I wanted to like. Matter of fact, yeah, you gotta fuck your life. Nigga, I'm in the life of the fuck your life. Nigga, I'm rapping for Coney Island. Yo, 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 I stumbled yo. across the Nems battle. Shout out to Coney Island. Shout out to Nems. Fuck your Nems life. Nems was a fucking EO dub celebrity. Facts. Mm. I remember getting there early, having to sign my name on the list, mm-hmm. and I'm waiting for him to call my fucking name. And Nems would walk in the building and he'd be like, yo, we got Nems in the building. Yo, my nigga, you trying to perform? Come and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, <laughs> and he'd get up there and he had niggas with the same freestyle. He'd yeah. be like, yo, every yo, week. yo, there's a party in your mother's yeah, every mouth. Week. Yeah. And I'm like, come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every week. There's a party yeah. in your mother's mouth. mouth. The, first, the, first time I really, the first time I really met Nems crazy. Yeah. Was that EO Dub at an MC challenge that I was in? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was in the ch- we was both in the same MC challenge. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I won. I got a question for Yo, you. Yo, wait. Fam. I won. How, how did you um how fam. did you get brought into Grind? Okay, I was about to get to thank, yeah. thanks for reeling it Let's back. Let's do this. Thank, thank you, right. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Like thank you. <laughs> all right, so to, to get back to that part. So um, yeah, I was out doing my thing and all that. And uh PH. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Peace my, was my bro, it's my brother. Rest in peace. Spoke, speak that nigga eight day, man. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, yo. Dude, and, and, actually, Peace and Sarah Connor, both of them. Yeah. Both of them. They was both there before yeah, me. Yeah, we was talking yeah. about Sarah Connor. So Sarah, Sarah Connor and PH, man. Shout, Shout out to Sarah yeah. Connor. Shout out to Sarah she, Connor. She don't get the props that she deserves. She don't get yeah, the props she deserves. She, 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 she was instrumental in everything I did. Yeah. And, 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 I, and niggas was clowning. I saw, I saw you, you on Verb and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But Prism. Prism is a league, you know what I'm saying? Shouts to Sarah Khan League Prism. Shout to Kylie Machiavelli. Shout to Taz Love and all that. Right. You know what I mean? They got a platform over there, so shout to Prism. I mean, they got a car coming up. You right. feel me? But um, I'm going to keep going off a fucking tangents and shit. Right. PH was like, yo, I'm doing this battle shit. I got this league and all that, man. I'm, I'm, and I need you to help me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We got some people, but, you know, niggas is kind of shaky. My thing is, I was mm-hmm. always... I was always... The person that was organizing and throwing and sh- throwing shit. I always was the type of nigga, I ain't asked nobody for nothing. I just did it. Right. I always had that mentality from right. back in the day. Facts. So he was just like, yo, I need some help. Like, we got something, but I'm not sure. And they had no disrespect to nobody that was around in, in early ground time. But there was a lot of niggas that wasn't up to par. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Waving. So when it was the ground time New York shit early in, the, early in, the, um, in its existence, the roster was kind of, you know, but you got Cortez. And, but but no, but like, you got I'm about, I'm about to get to that. No, I, I, I want to acknowledge how many talents you are responsible for, bro. Yes. Uh, talk to him. But it's Soul Khan. Yep. Yep. Mm. Conceited. Uh huh. Mm. Cortez. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who who else am I missing? Hollow the Dawn. Hollow the Dawn. Yeah. Like Philly Swain, nigga. DNA came through our tryout battles that he actually didn't even win, bro. And look, we brought him in because he was that nice. He lost, I think, Amzilla or something like that. Mm. There is no... And one, look, look, and one day... Without a league, Poison Pen was responsible 
Yeah. But half of the talent that helped build battle. Yo, my nigga, right. my nigga, right. to this day, I don't even toot my horn, but toot, toot, niggas. Yeah. No, 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 no. To, to this you day, bro. Join, oh, you need a toot joint, man. You need a toot joint. Nah, but to this, yo, on some G shit, to this day, and I ain't even been active in a strong three, four years, active, active. Mm -hmm. To this day, niggas that came through my pipeline is still headlining events. It's still the main event of cars. That's a fact. Look I'm still the main one. event, nigga. Look, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? saying? Let me tell you something. It, 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 you, know, you know what I mean? Like to this, to this cool right. poison pen. To this day, my nigga. So you had to hide. A nigga like Socon, whatever the, wherever the battle turned out, how the battle turned out. But niggas like Socon can sit down for how many years and still come back and headline battles. Facts. Walk can come back and headline battles. These are all my, these is all for my pipeline, bro. Facts. Nah, this is let them know, facts, my nigga. Let them know. Niggas built their rosters off of my talent. Let them know. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I can't even think of all the fuck. Fucking names Fact. that came through the talent pool. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Like so. But anyway, so um, no, that's PH fucking was asking huge. yo, I need some help with these events, and they had you know a, a whole nother roster of people, but they did have some legends sprinkled in. I don't yeah. know if you mentioned Philly Swain. Swain was a part Philly of that Philly Swain. Shout, Shout out to, to Philly, Philly Swain. Swain. He's so, doing his thing right now. Right. So, Ghost writing. So um, at first, to be honest, I was from the from the other school. Like I say, you but you gotta you gotta keep your mind open. The first thing I said was like, these niggas write rhymes for each other. <laughs> Fuck out of here. This shit whack. Yeah. Right. I'm not from that school. Right. right. Like, where right. I sitting do a report on you, nigga? Like, yeah. we didn't do that. <laughs> right. You feel me? It was all and, off the head. Right. So then, so he was like, stash. yo. So he was just like, yo, just pull up to some events, man. Just see what it's about. Right. And I'm like, all right. So I pulled up to some events. I'm like, oh, shit. Then I started seeing things that we can make improvements on. I started, I'm like, this nigga need to get the fuck out let of me, here. Let this me ask you a question. Yeah. Socon versus Amazing Crack. Do you remember that battle? I remember it, but Amazing who? Amazing Crack. 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 Pause. There's a nigga named Amazing Pause. Crack. Yo, get Amazing Pause. Crack the fuck out of here. <laughs> this nigga's name was Amazing <laughs> Crack. Yeah. Pause. PH book, PH book. However, yeah. Socom was the first person to blow up a picture of somebody in a battle. Yeah. Oh, and bring you. it like, yo, <laughs> this is this nigga. Apparently, he dressed up like um, he put on a bra and all types of shit. And your oh, name yeah. is amazing. Yeah. That was the first time somebody got exposed Me, like that. Me, yeah. Nems, and I forget who was the third person. We was judging that battle. <laughs> he lost. And when he pulled out the picture, he was like, <laughs> we was like, oh, it's over, nigga. I'm sorry. Like, oh, it's done. Yo. It's done. Yeah. Amazing crack, wherever you at right now, I'm sorry, my what nigga. What if he's like, yeah. on You should have never took that picture, <laughs> my nigga. What if he's we like, on the crack? Wow. Smoking the most Strung amazing crack. Wow. Smoking the most the amazing, amazing crack. crack. Yo, wow. <laughs> he like, man, I'm going to buy you some better rap. Fuck that shit, man. Now no. I just smoke amazing. <laughs> now I just smoke myself. Right. Wow. <laughs> Cannibalism. But yeah. But yeah, so um, yeah. I started watching the battles and shit. Then I started being like, yo, okay. All right, I can see where they Let's should be go. worked on, whatever have you. And I'm like, I know wild niggas that fit certain what criteria that I can throw up in here. Like, right. okay, we can get rid of half these niggas. We can... You know, develop some of these other niggas right. and we can, you know, put whatever my innovations on. Cause for, PH, PH was doing shit like having 20 battles on the card and charging niggas like $15. Right, right, yeah. right. I was like, fuck nah. all that. We gonna have half those cards and double the price. Right. Wow. If, Build it like, up. You do the history look online. Like we were the first people throwing consistent. She was the first. We 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 invented the battle yes. cards. Bro. Let's right. be clear. Yeah. The card. Let's yes. be clear. We, niggas was throwing battles way before yes. we started. But let's but cards, the cards. Let's be Vengeance? clear. Yes. My Fuck man. My like, man yes. was the model. Yes. Of how these cards are ran. That's why that's niggas. Absolutely. That's why niggas think he started grind time. Yes. That's day. why niggas think that's your yes. shit. Yes. I've been I've been feeding people misinformation for years. When I'm like a grind time and poison. Oh. 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 I found that. Oh. I found that for the sake of this. Tell, Tell you something. Yeah. Dutch, Dutch Vega gave me the shirt. And we did the fucking barbecue. Shout out to Dutch Vega. Look, I gotta go explain to mad people now that he didn't. 
I, I perfected it. I ain't started. I, I, I helped perfect right. I gotta it. I got to go was. make that correction to people and yeah. shit like, but my daughter and her mother think you started that shit. You understand <laughs> no. what I'm saying? Like, right. no. fuck. Nah, but you can, yo, so, without pen, man. I mean, I mean, so we started, so anyway, I started seeing what we, what we could do with change, make changes here and there. And um, then we started doing, I said, yo, let's do some trials, get some new people. So PH, you know what I mean? We did these tryouts in Williams, no, Greenpoint. We did these trials in Greenpoint. And a bunch of us was there, you know what I'm saying? Core was there. Well, Core was always there. He was the one of the day ones and shit. Right. So we was all, you might have been there that day. No, you weren't no, there. No, I wasn't You weren't there. You weren't there. I, anyway, I, did, anyway. I, punch, I punched Dose in the face. I was already gone. <laughs> I was already looking oh, at myself. Oh, we trying to get you back for the rest thing, and then you out. Okay. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. I want to talk about that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. Let's get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Right. Anyway, so we started doing tryouts, and we, so we did a tryout event. And that same day, we got money bags, DNA, mm. Amzilla, mm. and maybe Rome. I'm not 100 percent on the Rome thing, but in one day, I do believe I remember hearing Rome on the same card as DNA wearing the, the dynamite. Well, when DNA battled Rome, he did the bomb shit, the dynamite. Yo, yeah. I remember that. He did that shit. Oh my god, but yeah, so we, did, we did a tryout, yeah. and we got a bunch of people. Oh right. my god, we, we got DNA that day. You know what I'm saying? And DNA, um, PH was very instrumental in, in um, DNA's development. You know what I'm saying? Like right. DNA, tell you that himself, man. You know, so so once we shout, did, shout out to PH, shout out to DNA. Yeah, so once we did that, you know what I'm saying? Um, PH. We right. did an event. And PH was the one that was like, yo, Swave, I need you to battle. Swave asked me, yo, son, should I do this? We on camera. I got to be honest. I told nigga, hell no, don't do that shit. Facts. Listen, I'm glad I was wrong. Right. I ain't got a reason to front. I was like, nigga, you know, you see what we doing? We clicking out here, bro. You bugging like, no. This nigga's like, yo, I'm bored, man. I got to do something. I'm bored. I ain't do... All right, <laughs> bet. So officially, we made our ground time debut the same fucking day. The day he battled Chuck Black, nigga, yeah. is the first day that I showed up at a ground time event. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was whatever year that was. You know what I'm saying? And right. They did that, and that was, that was some caught up in the Bronx. And then from that point on... When PH saw what I was, you know, how I was helping, he was just like, yo, my nigga, you You the ambassador. You can do better than you can do better than what I what I'm doing, my nigga. And plus, and plus he wanted to test his pay more anyway, because PH just love rhyming. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I love rhyming too, but I do I, I, I do everything. I, I, I can tell he, 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 like, he wanted to battle more than be behind the scenes. Right. right. Like, yeah, so that was his thing. Like, yeah, for the record. And, and low key, um, PH is responsible for URL. Yes. So mm -hmm. um he stepped back, and then I, then I, then I stepped up, and then we just, and then I started just, I started looking at what the fuck I didn't like, and just started making changes from there. Like, start fixing that. It, 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 it was different because, well, first of all, we was trading as we went along. We didn't know we were helping build the industry. That's first of all. You understand? Didn't what I'm saying? Know that. Had no idea. We were just doing, Facts. just being active, my nigga. We was always niggas that's out in the street. Like we Facts. gonna do what the fuck we do. Like Facts. it is what it is. Like that's just how we Facts. rock, my Turn nigga. Turn this camera around. Y'all gonna respect this fucking history. Y'all really need to respect this fucking history. Because all the shit that you enjoying right now was built off of, I can have a, a handful of five names and Poison Pen is definitely one of them of why you love battle rap now. Come mm. on. Okay. So respect this. That's love, my nigga. Continue. That's love, that's real shit, my nigga. So, um, yeah, so. We um I started making little adjustments here and there and shit. And I was just like, yo, we need a filtration system. You feel me? Like, because I in my opinion, I thought PH was letting everybody get a plate. I didn't think everybody deserved a plate. I figured no. you had to work your way to a plate. Right. So we started doing this thing called a draft. Shouts to Dutch Vega. Shouts to Soul. It was Dutch Vega, Soul Khan, and uh Shit. It's like a proving ground. Mm -hmm. No, it was like a draft, nigga. Proving grounds came after, nigga. No, but that's what I'm saying. So like, don't say it's like a proving ground. Proving grounds like a draft, nigga. Right, right, right. 
That's the point I'm trying to make. No, you get it. You made the wrong point. No, 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 no. But that's what I'm saying. Like, we would have rhymed for a lot of this shit. I know. I was on grind time before your rhyme was invented. Right, right, right. It's like my dick. And this is what I'm trying to say. 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 This um, so yeah, we we I was like meeting the filtration system. So Dutch Dutch Vega and, and uh, Soul Connie did the draft, and we got and we had people that came through the draft, such as Rosenberg mm-hmm. Raw. Niggas don't know that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout out to Rosenberg yeah, Raw. Another yeah, one. He been, he been asking me about coming on the show. Another Raw truth, one. man. You I'm know just what I'm saying? The right time. So Another um one. yeah, we so we started just doing uh things to, just to make just to help. Make our events better. I'm like, yeah. you know what I mean? So if we if we fil- if we filtering out the, the the okay the subpar niggas, everybody that's gonna be on my car is gonna be mm-hmm. fire to a Fire. certain extent. You right. understand what I'm saying? So I just started looking at what I liked, and my thing was, I knew how to treat artists because I was an artist. I am an artist. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Like I know what I don't like when I go out and do a show. I just came off tour, my nigga. I right. live on the tour bus if I ain't on the block, nigga. That's a fact. Right. You feel me? And I know what I don't like. So I'm like, I'm not for, gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that shit to the record, motherfuckers that I'm booking. You for feel the, me? For the record, you've been around the world with this shit twice. Yeah, yeah. facts. Facts, yeah. facts, facts, facts. That's so so um we start uh, uh what, what point am I at? So we started um filtering. Oh, Phil, we started doing the filtration system, whatever have you. But the first event that I that I that I booked from top to bottom was uh I believe the first big event I did was 7:30, which was on 7:30, was on July 30 of 2010. And that was uh PH and Philly Swain. That was Wait, so, I was on that card. You, you was on that one? So you was on the second one I did all the way through? I know I bet. You know you were QB? That was on that QB, card? Yeah. Yeah. In New York were. City. Yeah, uh, it was, I had did, was I had in Brooklyn? Brooklyn? I had been, right? It, it was, it was, it was uh, Public Assembly Public at the Assembly, time. Public Assembly, yeah. It was in Brooklyn? Yeah, it was, it was yeah. on all six. I was there. That was my first time. You was there on my six. You was there on my six. My big brother support me forever, man. Yeah. But yeah, so... um, I never I, forget I, it because it was 7.30. I did, I did a bunch of small events first. You know what I'm saying? You know, we did the park. We had, I had Nestle and, and, and Nestle versus uh. The park yep, was where I DNA remember. had the dynamite strapped to himself. Right? DNA, that was that was no, a that was yeah, that, that was, was that was a fabulous. Yeah. I think that might have been the first time but, I um, saw you. You was battling. Yeah, probably. QB. Yeah, that was yeah, a, that was the yeah, first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I was doing a bunch of small events, but the first big production I did was seven thirty, right. and I was just like, damn, okay, we had a good, bunch of good matches and shit. And my whole thing was everybody did the pit thing, and I was always like, even though the pit had a great feel, I always thought in my mind that was an outside thing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when we on the That's block, you know, we get together. That's sight for if, if there's a stage in the building, you should right. be on stage. Like, on some, on some ego shit, I rap. Nigga, I'm going to be on stage. So I'm yeah. like, nigga, put these niggas, nobody, put these niggas on stage, bro. Mm. Like, let these niggas rap on stage where mm. a rapper's supposed to be at. Mm-hmm. You feel right. me? And then um, the night just went off great. Fuck a, you know what I mean? Styles P came through. I paid him with a glass of Henny. Salute, <laughs> salute, Styles. See, salute I appreciate you for this day. Yeah. Like, he ain't even asked enough. He said, you give me a drink, nigga. Yeah. Drink. Uh, not even dr- drink. Singular. Get yeah, a nigga a drink. He, he also performed at the, 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 um, the Killers event. Oh, word. Me and Vlad. Yeah, my, I bad, my, bad, my bad, my bad. I seen Styles Mis- at Misfit for QB. My, 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 my bad, man. Damn, you see how that fucking worked out? My bad, out? man. <laughs> hey, yo, Jeez. look. I seen Styles at a... I seen Styles at a... At a, at a, at a fuck. At a, at a grind time event. Yeah, you saw his pills in my event. Yeah. One, Bro. Yeah. But, 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 as a matter of fact, it was the night when, when Sway battled QB. <laughs> yo, how much time we got? Yo, Styles was how at... How much time we got? Hold on, hold on. Styles was at my first... Styles was at my first battle with Sirius Jones. Mm. He voted against me. And yo, oh, he's a, he's everywhere, B. Like, but Styles, but I, Styles I, I, rep the culture heavy. Mm. Styles rep the culture heavy. So anyway, we, we did the 730 event. That shit was successful. <laughs> I was bringing out people from the... I bought out cost. I was bringing out people from the West. Nobody's yeah. bringing out niggas from the West right. at the time. Right. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So when that event went off without a hitch, you know what I'm saying? I bought the sis out. She had her, de- she had her debut battle there. She, yeah. she fucking... Did right. the numbers against QB and all I that? I said World Star. Yeah, we, we all our battles was hitting World Star at the time. Right. Because they they needed like it was it was great content. It, it, it was and like one on one. 
This but, is no payola, no nothing. We was World, a, World yeah. Star started off battle rap. Yes. Mm. Yes. World Star started off battle rap. Just yeah. so y'all know. So uh, we started doing those events. Um, so now, now it was, it was that, at the time it was through the Grind Time East Coast umbrella. They had a bunch of divisions and shit. So um, the West Coast was the premier division. It started in Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So right. they had people like um, Johnny Storm, Moss Jelton. Was Moss Jelton in Florida? No, unorthodox Solomon phrases. Solomon versus Enes. Like unorthodox phrases, dudes like that. Shout outs to them and all that. But um, we so but at the time, the West Coast was it as far as the whole ground time movement was concerned. They were they were winning. They was they were they had the premier. They had the elite of seats for that side. They was they was doing their numbers, man. And I was just and it was a healthy competition because I'm I'm always out west anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like right. that's that's our number one sound scan city. So I'm in L. A. all the time. Right. But neither here nor there. But I was just like, yo, son, like we home. Like we from New York. Like not 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 coast banging, but coast banging. Like yeah, bruh. it was coast banging. Like nigga, I'm in, like how the, fuck we got the, how the fuck we got the wackest division <laughs> and we in fucking New York. Like, us <laughs> West Coast niggas is fucking us up. Right. First so one. I took it. I took it upon myself. How, like, how nah, you got Rex and Aquas together? I didn't. I, I didn't do the Rex and Aquas. And plus, I went to book Rex and Aquas. I was just weird. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was weird. I was there. Yeah. And I was repping for the brand. Right. I went and did that shit. Yeah. Like that. That battle was weird. Shout out to Aquas. I just that, that battle was weird. Like that was just that. Like, see, I I, I think that was the West Coast. Version of trying to get you and like the version of you and Solomon, right? Like, yeah, that's I it was a so. weird matchup. When I, think I saw so. when I saw Arsenal and Aquas, yeah, it changed Arsenal for me. It also or, changed Hollow for me too. Huh? It changed Hollow. Oh, for we me. battle. We battle Aquas out there. Yeah, Hollow yeah. battle. Aquas out there. Yeah. I didn't say that battle. Yeah, they yeah. battle. I was okay battle. with the words. Yeah, yeah. 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 I seen Aquas <laughs> battle Arsenal, and I was like. I don't know what the popular consensus of, but Arsenal lost that battle to me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And when I saw that, like, like when I first saw when I first saw Arsenal, it was against Hollow the first time. Right. So the I'm like, table, this right? nigga is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this nigga is crazy. Right? Yeah. You know, I seen him cook a few more niggas after that. I was like, this nigga might be my my new favorite battle. Yeah. You look, the, Math was Math still is my favorite battle mm-hmm. rapper. Just my so man. y'all know, my like, man, my man. I'm gonna take y'all through a little bit of history in a second, but like, you know, what my line is but when I saw that Arsenal shit. You watch? <laughs> I've been saying this shit for ten years, nigga. Look, I saw that like a lot of niggas <laughs> would change because of like like not a lot of niggas never recovered from the first time I saw them. Like like I told you, <laughs> like first time I saw O Red was against Wave Sever. Yo, that night was all too good too. That was a good night. That right? Night. You understand look, what I'm saying? Look, look, hold hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. The first time I saw Swave, I was like, I'm gonna have a battle with this thing. You told me that. I remember that. I remember that. I was like, I'm gonna have a battle. Yeah, I remember that. I already know. Y'all ain't battle yet. Though, right? nah, 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 y'all ain't battle yet. We in the same yeah, realm. Y'all was playing he around. He saying shit to niggas that I would say to niggas. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have the battle with this nigga one day. Yeah, but, um, Look, <laughs> I mean, we still do that, man. That should be. Look, awesome. look, look. But that's, but honestly, like when you asked me, quite, like when you remember when you came to me, like would you battle? Like Swave asked me what I battled too. I'm like, we was on the phone, we was talking about the shit, and this nigga talking about like, all right, you know what I'm saying? This say you, he's like, yo, you know what I'm saying? We got you. I'm like, you can't give me no little nigga. Like I don't care if I'm new to this shit. Right. I can't battle nobody short. I can't battle nobody soft. I can't battle nobody so, that. So who would you battle? You. Yeah. Me? I couldn't have it. Round one. Let's do it right now. Let's go right Stop now. it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm saying because I feel like we comparable to each other. Right. Oh, somebody like you or somebody like Sway. But somebody that's like, like set up for the game. It's, I'm it's, just it's saying a, like. I got to throw you in the most uncomfortable situation listen, in this the is game. My, this is, this, but this is the problem for me. Like. I can't battle a nigga I like. Well, I mean, that's tough. So you I can't battle like, me. That's, that's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> that's what like, I'm so I'm saying, like, you want to put me, like, all right, you want to put me in a battle against somebody, some, 
And honestly, so who would you battle? Just I just told you, I would battle a nigga tall, a nigga gangster. You understand what I'm saying? That's y'all niggas. Would, you would have battled Chilla Jones, no. DNA. The, the you know, Chilla like, Jones is gangster. DNA, so, the gangster. That's just, it. No, they ain't tall or gangster. That's what I'm saying. I'm just no, saying. I, I don't want to battle nobody. I'm just saying, like, right. a good match for me would be somebody that, I, like, I'm comparable to. You right, understand right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, 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 one of the realest shit you said in the battle was, I don't battle young hots. That ain't a shot, hot. Right. Remember that? It's yeah. not like you was dissing them, but you not me. I'm not battling Young we High. We don't belong yeah. in the... Mook battle Young High, I'm not battling right. Young Right, you did right. that yeah. for the guac. Mook, right. I understand. Right. I'm not doing that. I got that. Yeah. Right. 100%. It's right. like, shit don't even... I'm like Mitch Mack socks, nigga. I'm not putting those on right, right. there. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, nah. I, ba- I battle a Marv 1 on Poison Pen TV, though. Yo! Yo, Yo Marv, <laughs> no, Marv, you owe me one. Marv, he, he owe me one for that one. Man. He owe you one? Yeah. For that? Yeah, I figure you owe him one. <laughs> 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 he owe me one. He, he owe me one, nigga. Shout the ball. He owe, he told me he's like I owe you one for that one. I owe you one for that. Look, here's the thing, like, was, like, yeah. like, 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 my thing is like, all right, like, I feel like, like, how you said, like, you wouldn't battle Young Hot, right? Right. But then I can't battle. I don't feel like I could. Like the niggas that I feel would be a good match, I can I, I love you niggas. Like you niggas is my homeboys I in real like life. I feel like you and Briz would be a good match. Briz? Yeah. Briz is dope, man. Briz is dope. Briz is real dope, man. Briz is dope. And just because I feel like the rhyme scheme, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it would be similar. I feel like you'll be more, you will be more lyrical. I, I'm about to say, what I was about to say is. Me and Briz would be a, the old me would be a dope battle for Briz. But, but this is what I'm saying, cause you cause you make up your own fucking words. <laughs> right? and, and, and from being in the studio, I don't know G-dictions, if you remember. Nigga. I don't know if you remember. This, but when he said that, I was in the studio. It was Storm Studio What's in Storm? Brooklyn. What's Storm? Storm. Storm. And Storm? On a Jefferson. Duel? It was yes. a duel, right? Jefferson. Yes. What? On Jefferson. Have you said light skin storm? Yes. Right. And you was in the store and you said gangstifications. I was like, gangstifications? You know what it means, though. I was like, I know what it means. Like, you ain't never heard of it. I said, you know what it means, right? And he had like three more words in the <laughs> shit where I was like, oh, he just made them shits up. He just blended two words. But if you know what you're like, yo, that's fire. fire. Yeah, recognize my gangstifications. Respectinize. And G Dentures. G Dentures. Respectinize. Respectinize the gangstifications. But I feel like, like, a Briz, like, Briz is one of my new favorites in this shit. Like, he dope, and yes, he do remind me of myself a little bit, like cause of his energy. Mm-hmm. He don't just rap; he performs. Forms. You understand what I'm saying? And that's he, how I always felt. He about put you. on a seance on the stage, yes. like he goes there, like. Facts. And I fucks with that, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, I feel like, like, a, a older version of me, like a version of me from a few years ago, would be a more equal match. Like now, like. Now you don't feel like that. I mean, I could go there. Like, like I feel like it could. No, I don't want to battle, right? I'm just let's just just slow down, right? But right. what I'm saying is like I could go there, but I feel like over the years my 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 bars changed. Like I became more punchline heavy, right? Over the years, as time you know, it became it, it became. Look, let me tell you, I got a homeboy. His name is Bars Franklin, right? I'm not listening to you no what more. What do you mean? Look, I'm not listening to you no more. Why? You just became more. No, I didn't say heavy? just now. I just said over the years, I became more punchline heavy. Nigga, when I discovered you, you was punchline. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't, son. Think of th- all right. Operation Lock- Lockdown. Give me a punchline on that verse. Operation Lockdown. It went down like no this. Argument. One little nigga snuck through the door, peeped the scene, sniped a few, the crept through with two more heads. We're getting nervous. It's three now. They want to break north two. It ain't no punchlines. It's a story. Right. You right. understand what I'm saying? The second verse, who won test, y'all? Mr. Maldu, aka Rocknet, y'all. Well, all of that shit is just me talking my shit. Yeah. Like, I used to have some. But that's why you remind. That's why Briz reminds me. But that's me what of I'm you. saying. Like, an older version right. of me. But, like, a new. Like, as. Because you. For one, you had this thing where. You would lock on to a rhyme pattern and you would abuse that shit. Well, I still and do Briz that. Briz does the same thing. I still do that. Right. But I'm a lot more punchline heavy than I was back then. Like right now, like, like I can't, I like, I can't give you a verse. I will never get, I don't care if we rhyming about the death of our loved ones. I'm gonna sneak a punchline in there. <laughs> Sorry. 
accomplish. This is how I do it. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, it all started, shout out to my man, Boss Franklin, formerly known as the real Verbal Kent, right? Verbal Kent. Right, yeah. Oh. Verbal Kent was on the run from the law. He was like on America's Most Wanted yeah. on the run from the law, right? Shout that out. Right. Brooklyn nigga. Right. Brooklyn nigga. Verbal, while he was on the run and on America's Most Wanted, he was right. staying with me, right? <laughs> 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 Wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> yeah, I love how Brooklyn this episode is. <laughs> Bruh, I love it. He was living with me, right? Right. <clears throat> this nigga was a beast. Like, as an MC, he had one, like, I, I would work on work with him on certain shit. I'm like, you need to work on your timing a little bit. Like, that was his only flaw. Like, he rapped to the beat. He was, you know what I'm saying? But his timing was a little, 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 little bit, right? But the shit he would say was fire. This nigga thought in punchline. Like, I didn't I could not understand how just every line, like he would write a verse, it would be 16 bars, it would be 16 punchlines. Right. 15 the least. Right. How do you do that? You're not living with me and my wifey, and all of that, doing all that right here. <laughs> you understand right. what I'm saying? Nice. You're not doing that. So, nice. you know, we rubbed off on each other. You know what I'm saying? Pause. I helped him with his timing, and my punchlines got stupider. You know what I'm saying? And from that point on, they got stupider and stupider. Son, like, stupid. Like, son, I be saying some... I'm sorry for, for sweating myself right now, y'all, but I be saying some, some shit. dumb nah, nah, shit, nah, nah, son. Like, for real, for real. Yeah. And 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 that's a lot partially because of him. Now, I, I, I want to, I want to, um, this whole episode I've been singing your phrases. Yours too, Poison Pad. But I do want to take it to some place that I don't know how comfortable you are. I ain't scared. There. Let's go. Let's get to it. Price. Mm-hmm. His untimely death. Mm -hmm. It hit a lot of us like, what the fuck? How is this happening? How did this happen? A lot of people have unanswered questions. What happened? Well, this was the thing with Pete. He was, he, Pete was Pete inside and outside. Like, that nigga was that nigga. Right. Like, like the nigga he showed you is the nigga he was. No, I, and I believe this, like I said, mm -hmm. was OT with P. Right. And I saw the people who pulled up. Mm -hmm. And just being a Brooklyn nigga and doing my homework, I was like, there's a lot of power behind this guy. You ever heard of the Irish goodbye? No. A Irish goodbye is when me and you go someplace together, and I leave without telling you. <laughs> Irish goodbye like a motherfucker. That's the Irish goodbye, right? <laughs> we didn't, I didn't learn that that's what that was called, because in the boot camp, the good brothers at the boot camp, we called that pulling a ruck. Mm. If, you, if we went to the club together, no. you snuck out, we like, you with math. Yo, I'm, like, I'm not, I'm not going to front. I've lived by the Irish goodbye. We I be go like, out to places. And my thing is, don't tell nobody when I'm leaving. Why? Partly because I had drama, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to get nobody no heads up on when I'm walking out the building. Mm -hmm. But I would just say hello to a, who I needed to say hello to, but I would make a point not to say goodbye before I was leaving mm -hmm. and just leave. All right. And Ruck, that was a shit. It became, like, I didn't find out that it was called the Irish goodbye until about two years ago. This was this nigga in the 90s, right? Wow. And it got to the point where if I did that, we called it pulling the rug. Oh, this nigga pulled the rug. Mm. That meant rock disappeared without telling nobody. Right. Point blank period. Right. Like, that was our language. Right. So, um, I feel like Ruck did that in life. Like, he just got the fuck out of here. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, the nigga's like... You, you uh, didn't see it coming. You know, nobody saw it coming. You just wake up one day, you got a phone call, your man. You, 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 you want to hear some crazy, some but crazy what shit? what was it actually? 
That's what. That's what. What do you we mean? Like, know. as far we as like, know, as far we as physically, be able to blame this death on something. Well, you How blame it on. Cash? Blame it on. He had an, an an enlarged heart, sleep apnea. You know what I mean? Like his weight, and possibly his drug use as well. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Like a combination of those things took my nigga out of here. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But I feel like he was like. I feel like somewhere in his spirit, he was he like, knew. you know what? I'm out, y'all. And he left. The way he been doing, doing his whole fucking life. Like, he taught me that. Like, as a D-set, Ruck told me, like, listen. Like, because he was down before me. When I would go up to the, like, like Cybertron, which was graphic communication arts. That was the high school, <laughs> yes. right? Cybertron. Right. When I would Cybertron. go up there. Look! Like, Y'all niggas gotta do your history, man. <laughs> like, if you ain't never watched the Transformers, the actual fucking cartoon, right. you don't know what the fuck you dealing with. We actually had a gang out here that was robots transforming and fucking people up. Turn it around. Right. Exactly. Fact. Right? Exactly. What Ruck taught me, there's another one, exactly, right? What Ruck, Ruck was like, listen, he would tell me, because by the time I got down, he didn't even go up to Cybertron that much no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I would go up there and lay my shit down or whatever, but Ruck would tell me like, listen, don't go with them niggas. Like when you go, when shit get thick, don't run where they run. He was like, go to the N train, fuck the C train, fuck the A train, go to the N, like he, all of these things. He was like, if you don't leave, don't tell no, like these are things, and this was, none of this shit, well the N train, C train shit suck, sunk in right away. Right. But, the act, the pulling the ruck didn't sink in until years later. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, so there was a difference between going east or north? No, no it was no, just, east or south. No, it was just the thing where don't go where everybody at. Yeah. Right. right. You understand? We do dirt all day and we are part of a group of people. People know where to find this group of people. Right. If something happens, people gonna go looking for these group, group this group of, of people. people. Don't be there. with the group. Don't be there. Right. Don't be there. Learn how to get the fuck out of there. Don't always tell niggas where you yeah, going don't. because niggas want to go where you going. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and that was just him. You understand right. what I'm saying? So, And then also, we used to call son D-ring leader. D-ring leader. And D meant drugs. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like I did ecstasy before, not mm -hmm. before him. Mm -hmm. I tried mushrooms before, not before, not before him. You understand what I'm saying? I have yet to try mushrooms. They, <laughs> It's another conversation. What was, oh, boy. What was his, uh, <laughs> do you know, what was his actual cause of death? I'm telling you, it was an, an, an enlarged heart. So, so that's like the that was, was the like That was the, the official uh, an enlarged heart. But what now, I don't know what, what cause in the, I don't, is an enlarged heart. I don't really, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't fully know that, you know what I'm right. saying? I just know that the way he was living ain't, you know, that wasn't. It was a norm. Yeah, it wasn't helpful, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like that shit wasn't helping his heart or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? And I know the nigga. Like, like, son, like, if you notice, like, son, weight fluctuated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was bigger sometimes. It, he'd be he was slim smaller. Rock, then he'd be fat rock. Yeah. Then he'd be slim rock, and if then you, he'd be fat And if rock. you could hear his breathing, you know, it would be times when you could hear, you know, you nigga breathe, nigga breathe out loud. Like, you don't hear me breathing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you would hear that with son, you know what I mean? And yeah. he was always, a, well, not always, but he, he always loved that ludicrous line because it was true for him too. It was like, I never used to snore in my sleep till this rap shit started. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? But like, son would sleep and he would snore. You know what I mean? And, I witnessed this. You know, sometimes when you, you know, like you hear nigga, you hear nigga choke, like almost choke they self and they sleep. Yo, I thought Big T was going to die one day. Yeah. He was in Hollow's crib mm. and he went. Yeah. And I was like, Yo, Hollow, this nigga's gonna die. I was like, nah, he fine. I'm getting dressed. I'm going to the club. I'm like, no, Hollow, he's gonna die, bro. We need to do something right now. He's like, no, my nigga, he's fine. I'm getting dressed and I'm going out. And I'm like, no, Hollow, we gotta wake him up. And I woke him up. And Big T was like, <laughs> Yo, Mav, don't ever do that again. <laughs> and Hollow just nigga, looked I thought at me. Was going down, Hollow, nigga. Hollow just looked at me and walked through the door and slept. I, I was like, man. Yo, what the fuck? 
Mm. I was like, the fuck is going on here, son? Yeah. I'm not used to this shit. Right. This nigga's about to die. I'll tell you, me and Ruck used to be on the road. Right. Let me tell you a story, right? One time we was in California, right? It was in San Francisco. It's not LA, but I was like, fuck it, it'll do. I told you, I fuck with NWA hard body. They were mm -hmm. part of who made me. So we in California and we was on the tour bus. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know what? I'm sleeping on a bus tonight. I'm sleeping with my NWA CD. Like I had just, we had did an in-store in. and yeah. I got an NWA collector's edition from one of the in-stores. In. I'm sleeping with this shit tonight, right? Yeah. Pop that bitch in, I'm on the bus. But it was a thing where the, 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 the heat and AC, it was a problem with that shit. So where the radio, you know, where the music was, was in the back of the bus, and it was freezing back there. Like, the, it's either on or it's off. off. And if it's off, you bake in. If it's on, you freeze it. So yeah. bring your quilt. You understand? Go yeah, in the man. hotel, get your blanket. So, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, in, I'm spending the night on a bus, right? We're in WA. And Buckshot, <laughs> Buckshot, Gets at some weird hour in the morning, 2, 3 a.m., the nigga Buck comes on the bus. Like, yo. Because it was one of those nights, I guess every, you know, niggas had shorties. Niggas was running around yeah, partying or whatever, right? It was right? all crazy. crazy. Niggas was sleeping in any room, right? Yeah. Buckshot gets on the bus and it's like, rock. This nigga looked at me like he wanted to fight me. I'm like, what's the matter, son? Yeah, what's He's like, going on? He's like, I don't know how the fuck you do this shit. I'm like, do what? I didn't share a room with Ruck. I'm dying laughing right now. Like, I'm <laughs> Ruck done put this nigga out with his snoring. Like, he's like, no, I can't take it. He's on the bus now. Like, whoever, whoever, whatever was going on his room, I guess niggas had his room occupied with some shorty activities. Yeah. You know, you go, you, you scramble, find a, a, a room with one of your homies in an empty bed. The Helter Skelter room happened to be one of those rooms. He went in there. Yeah. And it was just Ruck and his snoring in there. Yeah. He could not take it. He came and got his ass on the bus. He's like, <laughs> and complained to me for about 20, 27 good like, minutes like about that. Like, 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 Ruck, how the fuck? This nigga biting his knuckles. How the fuck do you do this shit? I'm like, listen. <laughs> So that's that nigga. You understand? Know that was rough. Yo, yo, you know what yo, I'm saying? Yo, that, that nigga used to call me motherfucker Frederick Douglass. <laughs> that nigga wow. never called me pants. Because <laughs> Frederick Douglass. Because when I took my brain, when I took my brain <laughs> out, I had a big ass afro. So every You did though. You did. So you did me, though. He called me Fred for like 15 years. Yo, Fred! <laughs> <laughs> that nigga so Russell did. called me Fred. You know what I mean? Yo. And, and, and the wild shit is. He the one that um, he the one that had announced PH passing away. Wow. He the first person to mention the shit when PH passed away. We got the call like five, six in the morning. My nigga, little, little do me. people know, Sean Price was Team Homie. He, you listen to the albums, bro. Team Homie and Balls all nigga rep that shit. Rock mm -hmm. rep that. This, shout out, shout out to, to my nigga Head bro. Ice because I feel like Sean Price loved it. I, no, what? Yeah. Oh. Let me let me let, let me substantiate I mean, that rumor for you. Hold on, hold on. Ruck's favorite battle rapper is Sway Seven. Look, 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 look. Right. Before <laughs> was Sway, it was Had Ice though. Before, like, yeah. Like I'm gonna substantiate that rumor I, I, I for you. Deep down, it was me. <laughs> but I'm gonna let y'all rock out. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all rock Nigga, out. Nigga, you got me. Nigga, you got me. Don't be greedy. No, 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 no. I Ruck. have Miami with Sean Price. <laughs> Ruck is, I already know what it is. Ruck is sweet. He looked at me and he said, yo. Oh, that's crazy. I oh, know yeah, this yeah, one yeah, of these yeah, battle yeah, rap yeah. niggas right, in the building. On. It's right. not you, man. Look. Huh. But this nigga. Look, 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 look. Let me tell y'all the story right now. Let me tell you. This is, yeah. the, this is the shit, right? Uh -huh. And I believe this. I believe this to be fact. Yeah. There was a time like when battle rap culture was first growing. Industry rappers, we didn't really fuck with it like that, right? right. Because of course I battled cook niggas my right. whole beginning, right? right? But it wasn't like that. It wasn't like it this. It was the making money. Right. And it wasn't personal. Right. It was you come with whatever. You didn't know who you was battling. You ran right. into a you nigga just, said he could rhyme like, oh, word? Random. Let's go, right? right? You brought your best shit. Whoever had the best shit won that battle, right? right. So we would look at the new battle rap culture 
And we hated on it a bit. You know, we wasn't used to it. We was like, I can't stand it. I wish a nigga would be in my face talking about my mother spitting on my nose. Oh, nah, and then no oh, punch this nigga really. head clean, smooth right. off. Right. Yeah, even watch. Even, nah, go ahead, go ahead. So, when our brother Math <laughs> Punch dose in the face. When a nigga when the brim <laughs> of a nigga, know who I am. Yeah, I'm not when the brim <laughs> I know you a holy nigga. When the brim to know you fucking with When the brim <laughs> of a <laughs> of a battle you rapper you touch good. the you bridge of Chester. the nose you you half the shit, of <laughs> this man. <laughs> What ensued afterwards, I, in my opinion, brought all the rest of us into battle rap. Brooklyn. All of us who was hating on it, all of us industry rappers who Tur was like, Tur I wouldn't do that because I would punch a nigga in the face. When, when he actually punched somebody was. in the face. When he punched a nigga in the face was. for the reason it was like, that one of us that would punch a nigga for the record though. For the record though. That was justified, my nigga. Ain't nobody feel no kind of way about that dumb right. shit at all. Mm -hmm. Hold on for a second. At, at least, my at least, brother. Hold on. Hold on. At least in Brooklyn. Where you? Yeah. No, I, no, 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 Everybody was like, no, let me tell you something. Jasmine <laughs> was a post Let me tell you something. Right, bro. I, I agree you. with you. I agree with you. But I promise I had an argument with a nigga as recently as two months ago about that. What? Well, I mean, a things nigga, have changed. Like, a nigga probably, think that I'm like, son, then, we like, we had, yeah, look, we, we, like, nah, nigga, nobody. we had we to like, bring, we pulled up the battle, <laughs> rewinded the shit man. 17 times. This nigga, like, his brim ain't touches. Yes, it did! <laughs> 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 but that, that one, that, that one, like, uh oh, here we go, it's about to go down right now. And, 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 and I'm saying, and, and, face, and look, look, and Matt, no, I've been defending him to the, to the, to the, to the hills for this shit, Facts. right? Facts. All of us, me, Sean P, and every fucking body else, said to ourselves, that's my nigga right there. <laughs> like, that's my nigga I right I there. I, 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 look, look, I don't, I don't mean to laugh because I know it's at the expense of the pain of um, Dose's family. Shout out, Dose. <laughs> but at the end of the day, <laughs> it, 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 no, no, it, it's a reflection. <laughs> It's a reflection. I need y'all to understand. If you if you remember how this particular episode started, it's an explanation of why that sh type of shit was happening. You dig what I'm saying? Look, I'm from Brooklyn. Let me explain something to you. You right? understand what I'm what saying? What a lot of people. I'm what from I Brooklyn. What I never heard voiced. What I never heard nobody speak about in this incident was the fact that if you watch that battle again, when Math was rapping. <laughs> and Dose decided he wanted to inch up close. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Doing all this shit, head right. bopping like. Mm -mm 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 right. Right. Math tried to turn to the side. Turn to the side right. instead of rapping in your face right, because right. you bringing your face too close to me. Instead of doing it, poking you all in the nose and shit. I'm going to rap to the crowd for a second, right? right? right but right. I still got to address you. I'm trying to uh, do my job. Uh, uh, right. Side. But you still coming. Mm -hmm. Still coming. <laughs> still coming. Bopping his head like this. <laughs> right. He was. He was. <laughs> Until the brim of this nigga hat hit the bridge of this nigga nose. And did he punch him? No, he didn't just punch him. So he said. <sighs> he stopped his post. <laughs> You know how hard it is for a true performer to break character while performing? Such as facts. Like that shit, like yo, like a nigga could, like a nigga could trip you. Like somebody fuck with, like a nigga yeah, could do know, almost nigga. anything and you might let it go because you in the middle of this performance. Right. This nigga broke character and said, son, get out of my face, son. Get out of my face. And when he said that, the nigga so what? didn't go. My bad. My bad. Yeah. He did not. Nah, he get out his face. Because he was he, a character too. This, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> click, click, he was a character he was too. Click, click, boom. He said, Turn the dope to Jay, nigga. This nigga stage. looked at this nigga who was a, this nigga dose, <laughs> looked at a man who was damn near foot taller than him, and said, What? What? Yeah, he had What's to up though, dog? 
and began to remove his outer layer of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> his outer layer. Such is a fact. Such is a fact. You gotta watch. You gotta watch. Classic this. moments. And after that, bada bing, bada boom. Bruce Get him the fuck out of here. At, at that moment, industry That's rappers. That's when he knew he Industry rappers up. fell in love with battle rap. <laughs> Look, 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 but, 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 but I, I, I'm going to keep it honest with you. Um, you was hungry? Shout out to Dose. <laughs> you was hungry. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't make the, the proper judgments on the situation. I feel like everything that we discussed in this episode is a backup of how you, you just can't do certain things from someone who's from such a hostile environment. That's that life in imitating art. Do you understand? Mm. That's Brooklyn, what that is. We was hitting people with fucking hammers. Hedge clippers and robberies, and niggas. Hedge clippers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this was every day. Getting creative. Yo, so train, yo hold, hold I, don't think we, I, I don't think we will understand Bro, this. Son. You don't understand the fucking adventure on the C train when the fucking lights went off for about 10 seconds. <laughs> Talk about you, it. When you was between Hoyt and Skimmer who were in Lafayette when the shit came off. Turn it, yo. You my was so pretty than two. By the time the light came you back, did you well, ever see somebody was two finished? Right. If you yeah. ever saw Predator 2, you saw that train sequence where the Predator got on train and he was fighting everybody. That was Brooklyn, my nigga. <laughs> that was <laughs> Brooklyn. Shit. Nope. You think we playing? That's no. Fact, We're not playing with you, my nigga. Simple yeah. as that. So, okay. This glamour. Have, disclaimer. With my brother. Now battle rap is a business, and if you do that, you will be removed from stage and not get yeah, a check again. Not, like, don't fight also, stage. ignorant cool. niggas don't get money. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're here live and direct. Get your paper. Get your checks. Yeah, don't do that. Don't so, beat people up. That's all right. <laughs> so, don't so to conclude, don't do it. Don't do it now. Don't do it now. So so that was conclude, back then. Look, look, look. So it's, to it's conclude, the rules rolling. So to conclude, my, you know what I was trying to say is like math. In conjunction with the homie E and J who punched the you mad cause I'm stuck. You mad cause I'm mad cause I'm stuck. Shout out to E and J. Nick Slaughter. Shout out to the Bull Gill. Shout out to the Bull Gill. He has a grip. Bull Gill. Bull Gill. He has a grip though. He has a grip. He's seen the grip on him. He didn't get punched with the grip. Yo. He tasted it. Whoa. He was rich. I watched that shit in replay, man. I see Nick's like a couple years ago too. I only got. I only Yo, got. Tell look, 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 look. I only got one no. question. I only got yeah. one question. I only got one question, right? Uh -huh. Nobody and, knows what happened and, after that. What well, well, after what? Like when he got snuffed, he had the grip. Dose or no. the grip? No. Next. The guy. Next. Yes. Yes. Next. Oh no, nah, I know what happened. Nah, that was, that, that's that's pertaining to Did my question, kind of like um, <laughs> um, um. Yeah, like he <laughs> had the grip. Like he got now. punched, right? The cameras went off. The cameras but, went off, right, right. right? From what I understand, it was shots fired. Oh, it was shots fired. nobody fire. was hit. I didn't he hear. He was no, right there. Though. I didn't hear about no shots, but I know you know better than I do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, a lot, a lot of, a lot of battle rap violence actually don't get spoke upon. Like a lot of, it's kind of like a. Well, from that, it's like it's, it's like, a lot. Like, the niggas don't want to fuck the bag. Right. Not, 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 not just fuck the bag. Not just fuck the bag up. Not just fuck the bag up. But there's certain shit I wouldn't bring up right. because I feel like it would dig up old bones. Right, and on, and on top of that, like, and, like as far as like at least my brothers, you can say, like, we, we, you know, what I'm saying niggas is in the peace for the most part. So it's like, and niggas is grown. So it's like niggas ain't trying to perpetuate no bullshit, but niggas is right. still stand. Stand on certain principles and shit. Right. You feel right, me? Right, right. So, so, so I battled Marv one on your lead. Yes, you did. Right. And um, we, Marv, get, get to that. But we gotta get to the wreck shit too before we. But, but Marv one on the lead. Yeah. Go ahead. Wreck shit was uh, the birth of URL. Right. We get, which happened because Grand Tom, um, PH was trying to work it out. Mm -hmm. But whoever he was relying on to get the money for the deposits didn't come through. Yeah. So that let us. I told Norbs to holler at Smack, see if he could make it happen. Smack hollered at Swag, Swag made it happen. We had the, the meeting um, a week and a half after, and me and Rex got paid our deposits, and that was the birth of that was Battle the... Rap being paid up front. Mm. Nah, it wasn't. Who got paid up front before us? Um, well, deposits, but see, I can't, you know what? I'm gonna let you speak on that because at that time I was. 
number two, three on the food chain as far as right. You know what I'm saying? But, so but, I'm, but I'm gonna before let you, me and Rex, you know what? Who got paid you know what? twenty five hundred? You know You're probably before you know they what? battle. I apologize. I apologize. You're probably right. I'm gonna shut up. As far as that, you probably right. I'm gonna shut up. You right. Right. Let me go. Boom. Yep. So we did that. Mm -hmm. um, ground time continued to grow. Um, Poison Pen kind of matured a lot of rappers into this industry. And some of them crossed over the smack, some of them didn't. And that's what that was. Mm -hmm. Now, eventually, Sean Price passed away, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Rest in peace. Big bro. And I know that that hurt a lot of things that you guys was doing. Because he kind of took the leadership role when things was dying down. Yeah. Sean when, P kept boot camp alive. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... Mike Tyson album, one of the best albums ever. Yeah, like without... Like, like OGC only put out two albums. Right. Do you know about a, you know what I'm saying? Love my niggas, but they didn't put out, you know, a much music after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got Smith and Wesson and you got Black Moon. They had or the Buckshot. Coco Brothers situation. They well, that was they was name. they was back to Smith and Wesson and all of that, but right. it's just like, you know, it was it was, you know, like like I was gone. You know what I'm saying? I was off doing my own thing or whatever. Right. It was like like, he took over. Yeah, like I've I, I've heard Buckshot say it in interviews. He was like, "Yo, the lights was about to get cut off." You understand know what I'm saying? Price box. And P saved us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like on some real shit. Yeah. Like, P. Let yeah, it be but, known. But son is that? Yeah. P. That is that. Like, it ain't like you. You can't say enough about that nigga. You understand right. what I'm saying? But like, like he was, like I said. After that night, I had that conversation with him, and I don't even, he probably never even remembered that shit. It probably only hit him subliminally. But I was like, son, you gotta be the nigga you are in your real life because he's so entertaining as yeah. a human. Right. Fuck as a rapper. He was more entertaining as a human than he was as a rapper. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I, 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 so I agree with that. When he put that in there, crazy. That was it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and also, Ruck stopped giving a fuck about the industry. You understand what I'm saying? It's like you he's tell. like the radio. You're not gonna play me anyway. You tell. So I'm going. So I'm gonna rape little girls in songs. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like he like look, they rape little girls in movies. You understand what I'm saying? The, the fuck? Yeah. Like like you know, I, I could say what I'm the. I'ma just get wild. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna say whatever. He felt like saying, right. and I already told you the nigga was half retarded. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so he gonna say some shit, and right. you know all of that. All all of that helped him. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, on Price. I, I used to tell that nigga, man, he used to just be in his little in his little funk. I'm like, nigga, and you gotta understand, like it's a different perspective. Like like brothers grew up together. I'm 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 little bro to rock and right. rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, I just nigga, you rock, nigga. You rock, nigga. Oh, that was my, like you know. You know what's funny? You know what's funny what though, Talk about nigga. You know what's funny though, Pen? I'm a little brother to you. I'm telling you the same shit now. Look, I'm on it, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all this though, right? I'm on it, bro. Word of mouth. I'm gonna tell y'all this though, right? Quran Haran. If you <laughs> Quran look, Haran, look, look out for this guy. Look, look, <laughs> look out for this guy. Look. His next you, album is gonna be crazy. I'm, 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 I'm nice. Quran Haran. <laughs> That's a dope name. Don't <laughs> yo, it is. You, you know it what is. I'm saying? It is. You know what I'm saying? It is. Talking about poison pen. His I mean, real a, name. I mean, that's a dope is name too. Haran. <laughs> you heard? And he's no, dropping an album. It's gonna be crazy. No, but listen, right? Shout out to thing. Mortal Tech, but nah, nah you ain't not, you're not like, stopping this train. Well, I don't know about the, the, you know, the battle rap since you mm. freaking damn near developed, or not even developed, but just like brought in a lot of the talent. Mm. Like, you know, how do you feel about you know a lot of that talent being on other platforms, and 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 you not having your own platform and nothing to show for that. That's what well, I was saying. Not, not the show for that's something different. That, no. <laughs> that's different. No, that's different. you don't have a you don't <laughs> have a battle league. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. need a fucking battle league. My thing is this, like, I never I never did it. Like, we created an industry as we was going along. We didn't know what the fuck we was doing as far as building an industry. We, we right. was just doing 
when for we the felt, love. When we felt needed to occur. Right. You know what I'm saying? For the love was the first thing, but I saw how to get money from the shit. Early. Like, you know what I mean? So that 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 wasn't even really a factor, but it was but it was really it was really for the love. And I it was honestly to me it was a competition thing, like I said, at that at that particular point in time. The West Coast was doing extremely well, right. and it was a friendly competition. Like it was a, fr- it was just like nah, fuck that. Yeah. So I, I just felt I had to do everything in my power to build this up, to fuck that, even to 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 to, to you know, to surpass them. Actually, you feel me? Right. So it wasn't um, but as far as as far as the league and shit like that, my thing is, I'm too authentic, man. Like I'm not with the politics shit, man. And, 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 and I'm really a Brooklyn nigga at heart. A lot of mm-hmm. you know, I, like mm-hmm. as, as cool right. as my demeanor is, like I, I can't all that all that fake smiley industry shit, man. I'm gonna feel some kind of way, you know. It's, it's funny because people look at this nigga right here. This nigga done took me off a few legends mm. when I was, you know what I mean, on some real like, nah, I need to go see this nigga. I, I done said prayers. So you see, and, 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 and this nigga that you. That, that y'all see me, that y'all perceive as the one that be out there, like, he took me off a few legends, because I feel some kind of way about quite a few things, and you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like, you know, but, um... So you feel like, like, league owners I'm, 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 I'm sorry, are, the, like, the, too the, political? The circle back, yeah, the politics is what kind of excited with me to this shit, but um, as far as, um, get, as far as developing artists and having them go out and succeed, how the fuck can you feel bad about that? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, end of the day, anybody ain't got to say my name all over the place, but you know, a little credit, you know a, little, a little credit helps, a little credit yeah. works. Right. Like, let's not, let's let's keep that shit tall. Like, let, let, let's, it, keep, it let's cool. keep it real. This, nah, multi, nah, nah. this multi-million because, because dollar was, industry would nah. not exist you, you if there when was I, no when point When I sit at home and I see TV shows, all shit we developed, and I see the shit that the big bro meth hosting and shit, when I literally sat down and had conversations with meth about that rap, but that, I'm just like, like all these niggas getting consultation checks, yo, my nigga. Like, I, I done got a few. Let's not get it twisted. I'm not right. sitting here fucked up. Right. But it's like, damn. Like I see a lot of people that get a lot more credit. Like, yo, bro. Like I can, I can, I can firmly say, like, with with no, with no, 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 Animosity. no, nothing. Like, yo, bro. If I didn't exist, battle rap wouldn't appear how it appears. To y'all yeah. right now, it wouldn't. That's right. a fact. Y'all can, and y'all that, can, that is a y'all stone can cold fact. Y'all can shit in the comments, fact. all that shit. Do that, that is a stone cold fact. Do that history. Yeah, we, we know. So do the history and see what's up. Look at look at the pay per view model. Look at look. At, yeah, I mean, there's there's so many things. You had the came. first pay per view, right? Yeah. That's that was, uh, and I remember when niggas would tell me that shit was a stupid idea. Right. I'm like, yo, my nigga, let's get yeah, money. Right. Y'all niggas is <laughs> y'all niggas is tripping. Boy, that right. maybe, maybe because. Maybe because I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm in the style, you know what I'm saying, which is the hood, but this shit gentrified, shit expensive. So I was always shit on something like, yo, my nigga, let's get money. We need right. some like, money. I used to walk on PH. <laughs> I used to walk on PH. I'm like, yo, my nigga, how you throwing all these battles and yet you still, like, nah, nigga, you, you charging too low. Like, you do, like, nah, you fuck all that. Yeah, like, nigga, you gotta get money, bro. Like, facts. this don't make no sense. So ultimately, it's, you felt like, uh, is it safe to say you kind of fell back because you felt like the politics of it, you didn't well, like well, that first, shit? First, 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 Real niggas don't like politics. Because that shit hurts. Everybody hates politics. Let me, 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 people want to be clear. Let me jump around a little bit. All right. So as far as my history is in this shit, right, once the grind time thing was, 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 was moving and shaking, and I was pretty much the premier face of that of that okay. league and shit. You know, our moves, you know, PH, Math, Rex, all that shit, literally birthed the URL. Not, not Smack, DVD, URL, URL TV. Route. There's a big Facts. difference. Let them know. You know what I mean? So, you know, moves that were made through the Grind Time channels, you like, know, I wasn't directly involved in that, but I was si- I was on the sidelines involved in that, but that right. shit birthed, that shit literally birthed the first URL event, which was fucking... Math yeah, for Rex. Right. Smack wasn't the host. That, yes. that nigga Smack wasn't even on camera. Yeah. Fucking Star was the host, nigga. Facts. You feel me? Matt, Smack wasn't even on camera. Facts. Shit. Nigga, Star was the host. You feel Word. me? So it, it, it came from that. <laughs> so my thing is to get, like, like the fact that, I could, that we can have these stories, like, yo, it went, when I say there was no politics involved, there was no politics. Right. She came to my block, my nigga. Right. 
I lived on Franklin and Green, my nigga. She came in. She came to my block with cars on my steps drinking. Look, I met yeah. Cortez. Yo, check, yo, check, check my sister out. She nice. I'm like, all right. Look, 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 look. Fit. Your yeah. earrings is gleaming right now. I know this. Look, 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 look. You know what I mean? So, like, there, there, was, there was zero, there was okay, zero policies. I said gleaming because I'm that bitch. <laughs> she's, I'm she's, saying, she's, 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 she's gleaming right, right now because the boys are playing her. But nah, but the thing is, real diamonds, you heard? My nigga, I don't, 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 Dead ass, like I, I, I went to his block, I, I, I spit, you know what I'm saying, and he was like, "All right, I got you." <laughs> Legit, no, you that yeah. was it. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I had want, to do no fucking draft. I want to tell you some dope shit. It was shit. none of that, and right, he got right. me on the next car. Battle QB. Yeah, tell battle you some dope QB. Shit, right. You know when I first met, I, don't, I, don't, I might have met you that day too, but I know I definitely met Core that day, right? Core was shooting a video. And I was only there because Mike Beck brought me there. Shout out to Mike Beck. Rest, rest in, in peace, peace to my name. Rest in peace, Mike, Mike Beck. Beck. Yeah, rest in you peace. You understand what I'm saying? He died on the day that me and Rex battled. I know. Oh, you know how I know that? that? You know how I know that? Because that, first of all, it was y'all battled on Halloween? Right. This is how I know that. The night Mike Beck died, he was on his way to me in Little Rock. Mm. He was on his way to us. His mans made it to us. He made a stop and was going to meet his mans with us. I caught up with some bullshit. Mm. Right. Mm. Mm. So Ugh. when you punch Dose in the face, right? Sorry for just, just throwing that in there right there, right? But um, when you punch Dose in the face, right? Like, I saw that battle, but you didn't really get to do your shit. Right. You understand? You was only like 12 bars in or whatever, la, 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 la. So... You know, I was like, son is all right, but I wasn't convinced. You know, I, I, didn't, I hadn't heard enough to, for this nigga to be my nigga. I fucks with him because he punched the nigga for the same reason I would have punched the nigga, right? Mm -hmm. But when I saw the battle with you and Rex, I saw you shout out my nigga, Beck. Rest in peace, Mike Beck. Right. I was like, oh shit. Right? So I, I'm paying attention. And then... I don't know who I, I spoke to angry fans about this, angry fan about this shit too. I'm like, because we kind of had a little bit of, de, of a debate mm -hmm. about that battle. I'm like, Mav smoked Rex that battle, right? He was like, well, you said he had a knockout third verse and all that, but yes. I'm like, what is a knockout? A knockout, knockout is a knockout, my nigga. Right, you understand? So I don't care what you think Rex did in the first two. That was the, if you refer to two Nav jabs. Boom. If you were good to the that was third the verse the as a knockout, shit. you know what I'm saying? That was the second round. If you, were, right. if you refer to the verse as a knockout, then what the fuck? It's a knockout. The triple lines was the third round. All right. Stupid. Oh, right. Ah, okay. Yeah. Stupid, right? But that, like, I didn't know that that was the first URL battle, though. Like, I remember that watching first. that shit. Mm. That was the first ever. Ever. Yeah. Regardless to how much Beasley might try to downplay it, mm -hmm. it was the first event Ever and it birthed URL. URL TV. That's yeah, it, to yeah. this day, when I call you, what I say to you? Beasley, I'll be like, man, stop being, stop being. To this day, when I call how? What do you say? What do you say? When saying? I call his nah, phone, he, he answers the just, phone. He, I refer he, to he him did a as list Torah. on on the biggest battle <laughs> rap in URL history. So yeah, and that me was and it. Rex was not listed on that. That's ridiculous. And I'm like, how, my nigga? How we birthed y'all shit. Hold on, what's what, oh, that was a list. Wait, you that that has to be. Listen, 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 listen. We're not gonna get into the what's to, the, to the to the petty. What's We're not gonna get into the to the petty disclaimers that but, people have. But was Surfing Casino on that list? Probably. That, Probably. that was that was that was. But I, I'm gonna say too. your Forget your that. first card is definitely important in that. Nigga, it's the first card. What do you mean? And y'all was the headline. It is what it is. Look, at the end of the day, I look at my life like um, I'm blessed. You are. And, and though everybody might not want to acknowledge how blessed I am, I have to acknowledge that I'm blessed. Right. Because I was able to, to create something that's flourishing mm -hmm. in, in hip hop culture right now. And to be able to take your talent and say, I'm going to live off this. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do it. That's why I salute people like Poison Pen. Check this motherfucker on the road. Like, 
like 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 rockness monster because at the end of the day, if you was to go back and tally, like, yo, how stressful was your life? Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, okay, the hood stressed me out this much, but I chose a path where I felt fulfilled. Mm-hmm. And there are people that will stop me to this day and say, you made a change in my life. Mm. I can say that about Poison Pen. I can say that about Rockness mm-hmm. Monster. Absolutely. You feel Thank what I'm you. saying? Mazel tov. Rest in peace to Sean Price. <laughs> Rest in peace to Sean, Sean Price. Brooklyn forever. Fucking Poison Pen. R-P-P-H. For- Ever. All right, P.A.H. Ever. Rest in peace, J.R. Love to the King. J.R. What you got going on? Rest in peace, Mike. Everything Mio is promo. everything. Yes. Mio promo at gmail.com. If you want to promote your brand, your product, whatever you got to do, hit it up. We'll let you know. Hit up King Quality Clothing. We got the brands. We got the trends. We got the shit. King. 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 King with a Q. King with a Q. King with a Q. I-N-G. Quality. Clothing with a Q. How My man, you? Poison Pen. Holla. Poison Pen, BK on social media, man. And they ride best style, man. Oh. Responsible for King of the Dark. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> man. <laughs> bro, that shit ain't shout out to Organic. Shout out to Organic, but it's a big part. The Massacre series, though, we, we ain't talk about it a lot, man. We yeah, got a lot but, to, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. Well, I'm not responsible part. for King of the Dot. I was, nah, fuck that, yo. I'm responsible for a lot of other things, man. I ain't responsible for that shit. Everybody. Right. No. I help. I'm responsible for shaping a lot of things, man. And, and uh, yeah, as far as, I mean, I only, I never did not want to, I only hosted one event with King of the Dot, so I don't even know why that shit is even like, I'm King of the Dot, nigga. I'm not I, I, King I of the Dot, nigga I don't know what you're like talking that. about, because I seen you at Mad no, King I of support, the Dot. No, I support, no, I support it. I be seeing you nigga, in the front su- line. No, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 stop. If I see you at a King of the Dot event, my nigga, I'm watching because of you. I was, no, no, I'm the reason a lot I'm of hood I'm watching niggas, because of you. I'm the reason a lot of hood niggas started fucking with King of the Dot, because they yeah, seen because they thought it was the progression. They but thought it was the next step that of was just me time. Supporting. Right. That was just me supporting. I, I only was a part of one King of the Dot event, which wasn't even the King of the Dot event at first, because was, I was fucking with the massacre, with the massacre right. shit through me and Nakaya. You know what I'm saying? I was Nakaya's baby. Right. And they came on after that. But nigga, I'm not no King of the Dot nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, mm-hmm. dis- it's not no disrespect. No disrespect. So like, but, but niggas like, you are. You nigga, I was in way more URL relevant than King Pen of the Dot events, nigga. Poison Pen TV. And, and, Mad Papa versus Mad Boy. And PoisonPen.tv was through URL. You feel me? And then all the other events was grind Nah, what you got? Come on. What you got coming up? Y'all already know Nas got Hip Hop Israel. I'm be at, uh, you know, the app event weekend. So y'all already oh, know what you going to be out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, need all the so. updates. I got you. I got you. So yeah, man. Just follow the squad, man. Rockness Monster. Oh, IamRockness.com. It's my website. I'm on Instagram and all that shit. But you can find all of those links on the website. I'm working on multiple projects right now. One with Ron Browse, one with Rockwaller, one with one with a producer from Amsterdam where it's all we Don't lost. forget Ron Browse made ether. Ron uh-huh. Browse made ether. Check out that new single, Pay Me, that I got out. It's fucking stupid right now. Uh-huh. People, 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 are, people are really brushing off my shoulders for that shit right there. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all the love. Um, a uh, 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 EP with a producer straight from Amsterdam is called Chronicles of the Most High. So oh. it's, 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 I like that. Title. It's all it's all it's all drug punchlines, right? But yeah. um, um, also one with my man Archetype from Boston. Like I'm working a lot of bars coming out from your boy. I'm still competing with the dead nigga P because this nigga was a beast. Back. You understand what I'm saying? That was, that was always my Rest competition. It was always my competition, Young and Price. just because he's dead now. Don't mean we ain't still competing. Yo, you're Cause, right. Cause, what was his last project? Because he's that nigga, huh? Yo, what was his last project? His last. Well, he just now put out a project him last fam, week. Him and Fame just came out like a few weeks ago. Him and Fame. Fame is called the Price of price Fame. Of fame. I gotta keep up. Go nigga, pick that fuck? up, nigga. Yo, check. Go pick that up. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga passed away four years ago. Put out more albums than all of us. I don't nigga, know what to say I about this rhyme, nigga. I wrote a rhyme last week. And I walked over to the mural and spit that whole shit to that nigga. Wow. Word to my mother, yo. You know what I'm saying? R.P. to the bro, man. I love my you, nigga, my nigga. Man, I love you, boy. Let's get it's it. It's on. 30. She know how it is. your dreams, you know what I mean? Early opinion. February. Fuck with us, man. I kick the fucking door off. Take the hinges with the door panel in the wall off. Bodies getting hauled off. Lips getting torn off. Leg him with the sword off. He looking like a walking dead zombie trying to crawl off.